Chapter 701 Punishment Translator Born to be this bear-like man had bulging muscles that seemed to possess explosive strength. He allowed his hair to just fall randomly, making him look like a savage. A berserk aura came from him that made Long Chen's heart pound. This feeling was something he had only sensed before from Huo Wufang. But this person's aura was ten times stronger than Huo Wufang's. Huo Wufang was only able to become a rank 2 celestial because of some transplanted bones. Although he could be said to have 80% of a rank 2 celestial's strength. How could strength be described that way? That strength was fundamentally not his own. It would be impressive if he could even release half of it. As for this man, he gave Long Chen a powerful pressure. He was the strongest opponent he had met so far. Heavens, it's Xiao Wuji. From the crowd, someone let out a startled cry. This person was someone only a few people in the Zhuangshan Dao sect didn't know. That was because he had a nickname. Tyrant. Tyrant Xiao Wuji. As for why he had this nickname, one reason was because his temperament was so explosive, while the other was because his methods were so cruel. He had killed countless people. Most importantly, he had the strength to back it up. He had once torn a rank 2 celestial in half with his bare hands in one of the righteous and corrupt battles. That was what had earned him the name Tyrant. From the muttering, Long Chen learned that this person was extremely powerful. But Long Chen still felt no fear. Could it be that if I don't leave, someone will treat me to a meal? Do you know who you're talking to? Before Xiao Wuji could even speak, one of the celestials behind him sneered. Xiao Wuji waved his hand, cutting him off. You are Long Chen, correct? So you're still alive. But whether you're alive or dead doesn't matter to me. Let me tell you. Those two beauties of the 36th Super Monastery are mine. It'd be best for you to scram, said Xiao Wuji threateningly. Two beauties? Long Chen was startled. That should be referring to Tang Wan'er and Men Qi. Thinking of that, his fury immediately soared. This bastard wanted to snatch his women? Fuck off. What shocked everyone was that Long Chen didn't hesitate in the slightest. He directly sent a face slap at Xiao Wuji. This face slap was extremely resounding. So resounding that it shook people's ears. Some of the weaker disciples actually began to bleed from their ears. But Long Chen was also shocked. Xiao Wuji wasn't sent flying by his slap. All his slap did was make him stagger back. Furthermore, his own hand hurt. Xiao Wuji had never imagined that there would be someone in this world who dared to slap him. He was at first stunned, and then with a furious roar, he smashed his fist at Long Chen. Boom. Long Chen didn't dare be careless. Circulating his full strength, he met the attack with his own fist. A terrifying shock wave erupted, and the surrounding people were all sent flying. Long Chen felt a burst of pain from his wrist. At this time, he saw a yellow, earthen light over Xiao Wuji's fist. This was Long Chen's first time being suppressed in terms of physical strength. However, Xiao Wuji was also startled, let alone ordinary celestials. Even amongst rank 2 celestials, he had never encountered someone who dared to compete with him in terms of physical bodies. He also felt a burst of pain from his wrist, as if it was about to break. With a furious roar, a dirt yellow rune lit up on his fist, and he once more punched at Long Chen. This fist caused heaven and earth to rumble. Long Chen could sense endless energy surging into Xiao Wuji from the ground. This was his first time encountering such a strange situation, but he had no time to think about it. Xiao Wuji's fist had already arrived. Endless thunder force suddenly appeared over his hand as he met his fist. Boom. This exchange was even more vicious than the last. The entire plaza rocked as berserk energy caused the incomparably sturdy ground to crack. This horrified everyone. Xiao Wuji was ranked number one in terms of brute strength in the Zhuangshan Dao sect. He had never lost to anyone in the same realm in terms of strength. Who knew how many years it had been? Xiao Wuji's fame had been earned entirely through his two fists. He was practically unrevealed. But this seemingly weak and almost scholarly Long Chen was actually able to fight on an even level with him in terms of physical power. They found this to be inconceivable. One was a huge figure, while one was a slim figure. This disproportionate scene was extremely shocking. Boom. Neither of them was able to suppress the other, and they both shot back. Brat, you have some skills, but with just this little power, don't even think about defeating me, said Xiao Wuji. Space suddenly trembled and endless runes condensed around him. These runes were split into two kinds. As expected, he truly was a rank 2 celestial. Eat one of my fists. Xiao Wuji roared. He suddenly soared into the sky and then leaped down on Long Chen. Seeing that Xiao Wuji had summoned his cry of the heavenly deos, Long Chen snorted. He was just about to summon his divine ring. Stop. 
but a cold shout caused Long Chen's expression to change. He found that the space around him had solidified, and he was unable to move. As for Zhao Wuji, he was in an even worse position than Long Chen was. He was still in midair and in the same attacking posture. It was extremely comical. Long Chen was shocked. What kind of power was this? He was unable to release the slightest bit of his strength. If this person wanted to kill him, wouldn't it be as easy as turning a hand? Was this the power of the ancestor level? Long Chen suddenly thought of the tower ancestor. Although the tower ancestor had been very benevolent and amicable, he knew he was a terrifying existence. Perhaps only an ancestor level expert would be this terrifying. In front of this power, he was just like an ant. Suddenly, the restrictive force disappeared and Long Chen recovered his freedom. He hastily looked in the direction of that voice. Two people had come. One was a white-haired man with a dignified face. The other was a beautiful woman. Monastery head. Long Chen couldn't help crying out. Seeing Xu Wuhan now was truly great. As for Xu Wuhan, she was delighted to see him. But she immediately suppressed that emotion and rebuked. If you were alive, why didn't you get back here sooner? Do you know how worried we were for you? Of course. She had long since known he was alive. She was just saying this to conceal that fact, as if she had had no idea he had been alive. After all, because Long Chen had died back then, the Zhao family had been forced to compensate them with a great deal of resources. Xu Wuhan had spent all those resources on the Dragonblood Legion. It was also because of this that she had drawn the ire of her family. They had thought this compensation would be used for the entire Xu family, as the compensation they had paid was no small amount. But Xu Wuhan had ignored her family's wishes and focused completely on raising the Dragonblood Legion. It was precisely for this reason that she had drawn her family's anger. And so when the 36th Super Monastery was suppressed, the Xu family didn't do anything. They were using this method to pressure Xu Wuhan into apologizing to the family. After all, she was a late sea expansion expert, one of the pillars of the entire family. They couldn't go too far against her. And yet, Xu Wuhan refused to lower her head. She didn't say a single word of apology, infuriating her family head. He had warned everyone not to help her. He wanted to see just how far she planned on enduring. He is the Long Chen you mentioned, asked the elder. His gaze was electric, seeming to see right through Long Chen. Good. He's still in time to attend. Add his name to the registration. Many thanks. Vicect Master. Thank Chu Wuhan. Long Chen. Hurry and thank the Vicect Master. In truth, you're already late. If it weren't for the Vicect Master's words just now, you'd have lost the qualifications to attend. Many thanks, Vicect Master. Long Chen didn't know what was going on, but since Xu Wuhan ordered him, he hastily thanked him. The Vicect Master nodded. All of a sudden, he icily said, You two really were brazen. Do you not know it is not permitted to fight here? Long Chen was startled. This Vicect Master had turned hostile out of the blue. To tell the truth, his face was not very friendly looking. So as soon as his expression darkened, it was truly a bit frightening. Vicect Master, it's Long Chen who went too far seeing Long Chen keeping his mouth tightly shut. Xiao Wuji could only try to explain. Shut up. I don't care about your excuses. To fight right in front of the ancestor's statue is a blasphemy to the founder, shouted the Vicect Master. He didn't give him any chance to explain. Long Chen was laughing inside. Xiao Wuji was truly an idiot. He couldn't even tell what kind of temperament this Vicect Master had. Did he think he was someone who would find justice for him? It was precisely because he had seen through what kind of character the Vicect Master possessed that Long Chen had kept his mouth shut. But as expected, this idiot Xiao Wuji didn't understand that. Seeing Long Chen rolling his eyes, Xu Wuhan couldn't help sighing. When it came to slyness, perhaps there weren't that many people who could exceed Long Chen. Xiao Wuji ended up taking quite the blow. She had previously gone to find the Vicect Master just to keep the registration open for Long Chen. The actual registration had already ended. They would be moving out for the trial region tomorrow, and the trial was to begin three days from now. Back in the Super Monastery, she had constantly been paying attention to news from the Pill Tower. She knew that Long Chen had taken first place at the Pill Emperor competition. Theoretically, he should have quickly returned, but he still didn't return after all that time. And once she had brought everyone to the Zhuanshan Dao sect, she had lost her connection to the outside world's news. She could only try stalling for time with the Vicect Master. Today was the day they were to completely set the quotas. If Long Chen still hadn't come, he wouldn't be able to attend the trial. 
Shu Wuhan had been in the midst of coaxing the Vice Sect Master when the two of them had felt the fluctuations of a battle. As a result, they had arrived just in time to stop this battle. Since the trial is about to start, I won't give you much punishment. The two of you must repair all the bricks here perfectly, or don't even think about attending the trial. And if anyone helps, you'll all lose your qualifications, ordered the Vice Sect Master. Just like that, he turned and left. Chapter 702 Zhuangshan Dao Sect's Martial Gathering Translator Born to be Long Chen had just been laughing inside, but now he was stunned. The Vice Sect Master wanted him to be a bricklayer? How was he supposed to know how to do that? Long Chen, I really have to admire you. When it comes to causing trouble, no one beneath the heavens can compare to you. You've just arrived at the Zhuangshan Dao Sect, but you've already brought trouble for yourself. Truly competent. Shu Wuhan didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Long Chen had never been a peaceful person. After causing all that trouble for the Pill Tower, he had come here to cause trouble. Did he not get tired? Monastery head, I really can't agree with what you just said. How did I provoke trouble? It was others who came to bully me, and I was simply forced to counterattack. Do you think I'm someone who intentionally provokes dogs into attacking me? Long Chen spread his arms, seeming wronged. Who are you saying is the dog? Raged Xiao Wuji. It's not like I said it was you. Furthermore, in this world, what dog looks as bear-like as you? Long Chen shook his head. You, Xiao Wuji almost went berserk and attacked. Come at me. Just now, we didn't have a chance to determine the winner. Since you dare to place your sights on my women, you really must not care about your life. Long Chen narrowed his eyes and took a battle posture. He wanted to know just how terrifying a true rank 2 celestial was. Furthermore, this idiot dared to place his sights on Men Qi and Tang Wan Er. That was the greatest provocation to Long Chen. As long as he dared to attack, Long Chen would accompany him. Long Chen, don't make a fuss. If you two continue like this, you'll both be imprisoned and lose your right to participate in the trial. Seeing Long Chen like this, Xu Wuhan jumped in fright. With her understanding of Long Chen, she knew that there was nothing he didn't dare to do. As for Xiao Wuji, he was the very definition of an explosive person. He never thought about the consequences of his actions. So it was all too possible for them to fight. I don't care about the trial. Xiao Bear, if you have the gods, then let's continue our fight. Long Chen was undaunted, cursing right at Xiao Wuji. Everyone was startled. This Long Chen was practically a demon. Was he afraid his previous actions hadn't infuriated Xiao Wuji enough? As expected, Xiao Wuji was enraged. His hair stood on end, making him look just like a furious lion. His eyes almost seemed to spit flames. But everyone was surprised to see that the incomparably explosive Xiao Wuji decided to swallow his anger in the end. Long Chen, at the trial, I will definitely crush you. After saying that, Xiao Wuji ordered someone to get new bricks from the storeroom. While he knelt and began to pick up the broken pieces, he intentionally left Long Chen with half the space to clean. Since the two of them had been punished together, it was naturally split half and half. TCH, I can't be bothered to deal with you. Well, you can busy yourself here. I'll be leaving. Long Chen turned to leave. Bastard, if you don't finish your half, you'll be imprisoned and lose your right to participate in the trial. Do you want to run like this, you coward? Roared Xiao Wuji. He thought Long Chen was running so that he couldn't do anything to him. Idiot. Did you not hear the Vice Sect Master? He's punishing the two of us together. Let me repeat what he said for you. The two of you must repair all the bricks here perfectly, or don't even think about attending the trial. Are you deaf? In case you still don't understand, let me explain it even clearer for you. If these bricks aren't tidied up perfectly, neither of us will be able to attend the trial. As for me, I never had any intentions of attending. So if you want to attend, he, you understand. Long Chen laughed as he left with Xu Wuhan and the two dragon blood warriors. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Xiao Wuji was about to go crazy. He threw the brick in his hand to the ground in his fit of anger. The thunderous sound revealed just how furious he was. Xu Wuhan was bitterly holding back a smile. Long Chen was too evil to give Xiao Wuji all the work. As for Xiao Wuji, he really did have no choice but to do it, and he also couldn't have other people help him. A rank 2 celestial, an unrevealed existence here, was forced to be a bricklayer. Xu Wuhan was practically unable to believe it. They returned to the 36th Super Monastery's region. This was a huge palace. And although it was just a temporary residence, it was still extremely grand. Boss, boss has returned. As soon as they entered, a familiar cry rang out. 
Guo Ran was the first to sense Long Chen's arrival. This large hall was filled with many people calmly cultivating, but that peace was immediately broken. The dragon blood warriors were especially emotional, and all their eyes turned red. Long Chen was a god in their hearts, someone they practically worshipped. They were unable to hold back their excitement upon seeing him again. Ha ha ha, brothers, tonight, none of us will go home until we're drunk. Wait, that's wrong, this place is home, so we'll drink until we collapse, laughed Long Chen. Seeing these familiar faces, sensing the kind of trust between brothers, Long Chen felt a warm feeling well up within him. After experiencing the betrayal of Fang Mingyuan and Che Gaoyang, this kind of trust and feeling could heal the wound in his heart. Although he might be a powerful expert, an undefeatable war god in other people's hearts, he had his weaknesses, and his greatest weakness was being betrayed by people he trusted. That kind of pain was something that could only be understood through experience. Boss, we missed you. Guo Ran gave Long Chen a fierce hug. His eyes were red. This time, they had truly been parted for a long time. Not to mention that Long Chen had been stalling so many powerful enemies the last time they had seen him. They had even thought that they might not see him again. It felt like a lifetime had passed. Haha, <laughs> you were overthinking things. Who do you think I, Long Chen, am? Even the heavens can't put me away, laughed Long Chen. He had a fierce hug one by one with Gu Yang, Li Qi, Yu Zifeng, and Song Mingyuan. Song Mingyuan and Fang Mingyuan had the same name, most likely. The person who had come up with their name hoped for them to have a far-reaching vision and foresight. One, but Fang Mingyuan had still been blinded by his greed and lost that foresight. He had ended up losing his life from that. Just thinking about it made a person lament. Has Wild still not returned? Long Chen asked suddenly. For now, there's still no news from him or his master. Xu Wuhan shook her head. Long Chen's heart shook. He hoped nothing had happened to them. But then thinking about it, the two had only gone hunting. It didn't seem likely for something to happen. However, the fact that they hadn't returned after all this time was a bit worrying. Long Chen. Suddenly, a disbelieving cry rang out. Long Chen hastily turned back. Before he could see anything, a burst of fragrance enveloped him, and a maiden tightly held him. Long Chen. You giant scoundrel. How could you only return now? Tang Wan'er was in Long Chen's embrace, her face stained with tears. After being teleported out of the chaos region, she had always been worried. When Xu Wuhan had led an army over, each hour had felt as long as a year to her. That kind of bitter torment was something outsiders couldn't comprehend. But when Xu Wuhan had returned, she had refused to see her. That had made her heart sink to an all-time low. It was a good thing that Long Chen's letter had arrived quickly. That letter had been marked with his specific spiritual mark, and it could not be faked. Her worried heart had finally managed to get a rest. Girl, did you miss me? But even if you want to hug me, you should find a place with no one else present to do it. There are so many single people watching. Your actions are giving them a big blow. A blow big enough to kill them. Laughed Long Chen. Tang Wan'er immediately turned red and gave Long Chen a vicious pinch. She turned, not daring to look at the others. It's fine. It's fine. As single people, we can take this chance to observe and learn. We have to learn a little bit of everything from boss Long Chen. Guo Ran also laughed wickedly. That wretched expression was also quite similar to Long Chen's. Xu Wuhan was speechless. The people that Long Chen led were definitely not good. They were a bunch of hooligans like him. Dear Men Qi, come, give your husband a hug. Long Chen pulled Men Qi into his embrace. Men Qi had just been standing to the side without saying anything, but her eyes were already wet. Her temperament was the exact opposite of Tang Wan'er's. One was outspoken and forthright, while the other was elegant and subdued. Tang Wan'er said whatever she wanted. She was unable to keep any secrets. But Men Qi was like water, and she wouldn't easily display her emotions. Now that Long Chen pulled her into his embrace, she couldn't hold back any longer and her tears began to drip down. Long Chen's embrace felt so warm and comforting to her. Her arms pulled against Long Chen's waist as she sobbed. Sorry, I've caused you to worry. Long Chen was a bit ashamed, but he also felt helpless. Men Qi shook her head. She raised it and saw that Long Chen's expression was the same, but he could not conceal the weariness coming from deep within him. Long Chen, you're the one who has it hard. In order to keep us safe, you suffer so much, but you conceal that suffering from us. We are always in your heart, but we, we are powerless to share your burden, said Men Qi. This time, the Dragon Blood Warriors couldn't help but turn silent. They had always treated Long Chen as an idol they worshipped. He was an undefeatable legend, an unrevealed commander. 
but they had forgotten that Long Chen was even a bit younger than them. He was also human, and he also had times of weakness. It was just that Long Chen only showed them his strongest, bravest side. In battle, he always took on the most dangerous fight. Now that Men Qi said this, everyone's hearts became emotional. Long Chen had paid so much for them, but they were only able to help him so little. Long Chen also felt his emotions well up, and his tears almost fell. It truly was Men Qi who understood him the best. It's fine. Everything's over now. Now that we've reunited, we should be happy. Long Chen did his best to steady his emotions. Smiling, he wiped away Men Qi's tears. Even tear stained, Men Qi's beauty was still absolutely incomparable. It was like crystal drops sprinkled over jade. TCH. It's no wonder that Xiao Bear wants to take my wife. If others also had such a beautiful wife, I would also want to snatch them. Long Chen's sudden joke caused everyone to laugh. Even Men Qi and Tang Wan Er couldn't help laughing. All right, it was difficult for everyone to gather again. I've already sent people to prepare the food. We can talk as we feast. I'll give you an explanation of what will be happening during this martial gathering. Shu Wuhan's solemn words caused everyone's ears to perk up. Chapter 703 Four Heavenly Geniuses and Three Peerless Beauties Translator Born to be at this moment, Shu Wuhan's expression was solemn. This martial gathering hosted by the Zhuangshan Dao sect is different from the past. In the past, it was just a trial and experience for disciples. But this time, it has coincided with the opening of the Immemorial Pathway. So it has an added purpose to fight for quotas. Immemorial Pathway, asked Long Chen. The Immemorial Pathway, Shu Wuhan sighed. A thousand years ago, I was also just like you. I also chanced upon the opening of the immemorial pathway. But at that time, Shu Wuhan suddenly went silent. A trace of fear appeared in her eyes. It was obvious just how terrifying that immemorial pathway had been for her. She sighed, brushing off those miserable memories. It's best to just talk about the trial for now. But before that, let me first give you a brief explanation about the structure of the Zhuangshan Dao sect Although the Zhuangshan Dao sect I'm talking about is just the branch sect, it has tens of millions of elite cultivators. As for the people who can attend the martial gathering this time, they are elites amongst elites. Our 36th supermonastery is the weakest existence of all the supermonasteries. When she reached there, Shu Wuhan became a bit embarrassed. Long Chen didn't know whether to laugh or cry. The monastery I was at was also the weakest existence. Now the supermonastery is also the weakest existence. Don't tell me that the branch sect we're at is also the weakest amongst the branch sects. My luck can't be that bad, right? Shu Wuhan looked at Long Chen. She didn't say anything for a long time. Really? This branch sect is also the weakest. Long Chen was speechless. How was it possible to have such bad luck? Cough. But even so. Our Zhuangshan Dao sect is still one of the overlords of the Eastern Wasteland. As you've seen, almost 100,000 people are attending the trial this time from the 36 supermonasteries. As for our 36th supermonastery, we have less than 500 people. Shu Wuhan became even more embarrassed. Out of these 500 people, the Dragonblood Legion occupied 360 members. That was because the trial's criteria required that the disciple had to reach the Xianchen realm and was not older than 50. 99% of the disciples were washed out by these requirements. If it weren't for the Dragonblood Legion, Shu Wuhan would have been too embarrassed to even come here to attend the trial. That was because the other supermonasteries all had over a thousand elites who could attend, or even several thousand. When the 36th supermonastery was compared to them, they truly were weaker. And if they didn't have Men Qi and Tang Wan Er who were celestials, then they truly would have been turned into the Zhuangshan Dao sect's laughing stock. But now that a monster like Long Chen had returned, the 36th supermonastery's position had immediately risen. Let's not talk about those elite Zhuangshan disciples. Just in terms of celestials, there are 33 experts, and amongst them are the four heavenly geniuses and three peerless beauties. At this point, Shu Wuhan smiled slightly. As for Men Qi and Tang Wan Er, they blushed. Long Chen immediately understood that the two of them were within the so-called three peerless beauties. When it came to looks, Men Qi and Tang Wan Er were definitely beauties that could bring about the downfall of a state. With their exceptional beauty, it was very normal for them to be in that ranking. Could it be that there is someone else that can compare to my two wives? Impossible. Long Chen was a bit surprised. Men Qi and Tang Wan Er blushed even further. Tang Wan Er gave Long Chen a pinch, but Long Chen's skin was too tough and she felt like she was trying to pinch Dragon Hide. She was unable to use the slightest force.
But Long Chen's words were still praising their beauty, and they both liked that. What women didn't like such words? Even confident women would be delighted upon being praised. As soon as someone mentions a beautiful woman, your tail immediately pricks up. Are you not interested in the four heavenly geniuses? Xu Wu rolled her eyes at Long Chen. This little fellow never paid attention to the important details. Cough. Nothing like that. I was just curious. Long Chen explained hastily. But he grumbled inside. Sister, why must you intentionally frame me? As expected. Tang Wanur, Men Qi, the Dragon Blood Warriors, and even the elite disciples from the other monasteries looked at Long Chen with a strange gaze. Boss, you've already taken two of the three beauties. You're just lacking one for a complete set. Aya, Guo Ran was suddenly sent flying by a burst of wind. He tumbled back and collided against a wall. His head was stuck in the ground as his butt was raised toward the sky. He was stuck in an exceedingly sorry and comical position which caused a burst of laughter. Guo Ran. Do you think you're too big for a beating? Raged Tang Wanur. Currently, she was a true celestial, and she was even a powerful existence amongst celestials. Guo Ran was unlucky, as with Long Chen present, he had forgotten something. He had forgotten that even Long Chen wouldn't fight with Tang Wanur. Little snow had been released at this time, and he had simply been laying there without saying a word. Now, he suddenly let out a growl. Haha, <laughs> even Little Snow says he deserves it. Laugh Men Qi. She was the only one here other than Long Chen who could understand Little Snow's spiritual fluctuations. Fine, I was wrong. Guo Ran crawled up from the ground dejectedly. Now he had gotten smarter, and he hid behind Long Chen. Now, on the off chance he said something wrong again, Long Chen would become his shield. All right, let's get back to the topic. The three peerless beauties is something the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples came up with. Men Qi and Tang Wanur are two of them. As for the last woman, She's not just one of the three beauties. She's also one of the four heavenly geniuses, said Shu Wuhan. Long Chen was startled. Then is she? Shu Wuhan nodded. Yes, she is also a rank two celestial. She is extremely powerful, and she is definitely no weaker than the other heavenly geniuses. That's because she has inherited king blood. Inherited king blood? What does that mean? Asked Long Chen. Above sea expansion is foundation forging. That is the ancestor level. Experts above the ancestor level are nicknamed kings. They are the absolute rulers of the eastern wastelands and the other three outer regions. They can disdainfully look down on anyone else. With a wave of their hands, mountains collapse and seas overturn. They are completely unrevealed existences. Shu Wuhan couldn't help sighing, a touch of worship appearing in her eyes. Wouldn't such a person be on the same level as a god or immortal? How could such a person exist? Asked Tang Wanur. In truth, you've also seen such a person. Shu Wuhan smiled. We have? How is that possible? The others haven't seen them, but those from the first monastery have. That's especially true of the dragon blood warriors, said Shu Wuhan. Then you're talking about the woman who took away Ye's Hikyu, asked Long Chen. Correct. If my guess isn't wrong, she should be a king, said Shu Wuhan. Long Chen was surprised. He fell back into his memories. At that time, that woman had stood in the air without any wings. In fact, there had been no fluctuations around her at all. Just like that, she stood in midair. So she was actually such a terrifying existence. Thinking of how he had actually taken a battle posture against her when she had taken Ye's Hikyu, he began to sweat. Most likely, she could have killed them all with just a sigh. Then that means sister's Hikyu definitely has been revived, cried Tang Wanner excitedly. With such a terrifying figure protecting her, Ye's Hikyu couldn't possibly have died. That's why you have to be careful, Long Chen. For a powerful king to personally raise her, Ye's Hikyu's cultivation base will definitely reach an incomparably terrifying level. You might get thrown behind by her, laughed Shu Wuhan. But then she clapped herself in the head. What's going on today? How are we always getting sidetracked? Back to the main subject. The third beauty's name is Song Wuyan. She comes from an exceedingly old ancient family. Although her family has already declined, in her generation, there are signs of her ancestral blood being awakened. If she doesn't die, she has a 10% chance of becoming a king, sighed Shu Wuhan. Just 10%. Long Chen was slightly speechless. Shu Wuhan finally couldn't bear it anymore and gave him a disdainful gaze. Do you think kings are cabbages? Out of 10,000 ancestor experts, maybe not a single one will be able to become a king. Becoming a king not only requires talent and perseverance, but it also requires luck. Ah, then I'm doomed. With my luck, there's no chance for me at all, sighed Long Chen. 
From this explanation, he knew kings were blessed by heaven and earth. Long Chen had never received such a blessing. All right, we've gotten sidetracked again. Don't interrupt me again, or this will never end, said Shu Wuhan. If this continued, who knew what topic they would end up on? It was always Long Chen who disrupted her flow. Zhang Wuyan possesses a king bloodline, and she is also a rank 2 celestial. Her combat abilities are incredible. She comes from the second super monastery, which is controlled by the Wang family. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's four families are the Shu, Zhao, Wang, and Ku families. The Wang and Ku family's relationship with my Shu family isn't bad. They won't intentionally make things hard for us, so you don't need to be worried about that. The next heavenly genius is Yu Qianshan. He is also a rank 2 celestial and is also exceedingly powerful. When he fights with others, his attacks are always killing blows. That's because he is a sword cultivator. A sword cultivator. Yu Zifeng narrowed his eyes. He was also a sword cultivator, and he wanted to have a look at that terrifying fellow's abilities. Sword cultivators were acclaimed as possessing the top offensive ability. Their killing blows were incomparably sharp, and each exchange could determine life and death. They were extremely terrifying. Yu Qianshan comes from the first super monastery, which is controlled by the Ku family. According to reason, he won't have any conflicts with us, but sword cultivators are known to be extremely prideful and eccentric. You should pay attention not to provoke him. As for the third person, Long Chen, you've already encountered him, and you've even exchanged blows. He is Xiao Wuji. He comes from the fourth super monastery, controlled by the Zhao family. That's why he would intentionally target us. He is a rank 2 celestial, and he controls the great earth's energy. His energy is boundless, and his physical body is terrifying. He has never met a match in terms of physical strength, said Shu Wuhan. Long Chen nodded. It was no wonder he was so powerful. He not only had the power of his physical body, but he also borrowed the energy of the earth. And there's another celestial, asked Long Chen. Yes, he comes from my Shu family. A complicated expression appeared on Shu Wuhan's face. Chapter 704 Shu Guanzi Translator Born to be when she mentioned the Shu family's heavenly genius, Shu Wuhan's expression became a bit unnatural. It was only after she explained that everyone came to comprehend why. In truth, the Shu family's inner organization was rather complicated. Other than the head of the family, there were three late sea expansion experts, and Shu Wuhan was one of them. The future family head was supposed to arise from these three people. But Shu Wuhan had no interest in becoming the family head. As for the other two, their power spheres were extremely large, and they fought intensely. Both of them had tried to pull Shu Wuhan to their side, but Shu Wuhan loathed that kind of struggle. She decided to separate herself from the Shu family, distancing herself from their struggle. She went to the 36th Super Monastery and quietly acted as a monastery head. She hadn't expected that leaving would end up offending both sides. Now, one of them had finally become the winner. That was because a rank 2 celestial had been born amongst his descendants. That was a form of absolute power, and the struggle was immediately settled. As for Shu Wuhan, because she had refused to join hands with him, she was constantly rejected during these few years. This was a reprimand, as well as a display of power. As for the current family head, he had long since viewed this as normal. If a family wanted to flourish, then at times when there was no outer battle, inner battles were a way to increase strength. Of course. That was on the precondition that the leader controlled the scope of the inner struggle properly and didn't let it overturn the entire boat. So those who could manage the position of the family head were all wily old foxes. Only such people could keep control of the overall situation and allow the family to steadily advance. Whether inner struggle would benefit the family was all up to the family head. How much it would benefit would be up to their control. It was a reflection of their wisdom. This was the essence left behind by generation after generation of the righteous path. Practically all large families were the same. This was for the continued inheritance and prosperity of the family. Of course, some people felt this manner was inappropriate. The slightest mistake might cause the entire family to fracture. But they were also unable to find a better method. Large families were like this. And sects were also like this. The inner competition was for the sake of development and raising total combat strength. That person is called Shu Guanzi. He is also a rank 2 celestial, and he controls the water element. His combat abilities are strange, and he definitely isn't lacking compared to the other heavenly geniuses, said Shu Wuhan. Shu Guanzi. Shu Guanzi. Isn't that water pipe? Long Chen was startled. Who had come up with such a name? Shu Wuhan was also startled for a moment. 
Now that Long Chen mentioned it, she found that this name truly was a bit odd. The others also felt this name to be outlandish. Cough. His name might be a bit strange, but you should still be careful around him. He is very strong. Warned Shu Wuhan. Isn't he from your family? Why do we have to be careful? Asked Tang Wanur. Long Chen was speechless. How could she view things so simply? Any power, as long as it grew strong enough, would begin to give rise to endless internal conflicts. Humans were very marvelous creatures. It was like it was in their nature to dislike beauty and peace. When they saw something beautiful, they had an urge to destroy or pollute it. Even a nation, a family, a sect, any power. After undergoing the baptism of a fierce war, they would only be united for a short period. Once they enjoyed peace for too long, once they forgot the pain of their wounds, they would start an internal conflict again. Foolish girl, after we became acquainted in the 108th monastery, have you forgotten just how many pitfalls we ran into? You think the Shu family is a collective whole and should be united, but then wouldn't others also think that our 108th monastery was a collective whole? Have you forgotten the truth? Asked Long Chen. Oh, Tang Wan'er nodded with embarrassment. She suddenly asked, Long Chen, do you think I'm very foolish sometimes? No. Long Chen shook his head. Really Tang Wan'er was delighted. This acknowledgement from Long Chen was good to hear. But his next words weren't so delightful to her. It's not that you're sometimes foolish. But that you're always this foolish. Bastard. Raged Tang Wan'er. She looked just like an infuriated but beautiful tigress that wanted to take a bite out of Long Chen. But she was held back by Men Qi. Wan'er. Don't make a fuss. The monastery head is trying to give us a proper explanation, advised Men Qi. Sister, Long Chen is bullying me, cried Tang Wan'er resentfully. It's not like this is the first time. He often acts like this with you. Once you get accustomed to it, you'll be fine, consoled Men Qi. Shu Wuhan sighed, a bit speechless. You children really give me a headache. Shu Wuhan truly was worried. Out of these people, the only one who was rather normal was Men Qi. She was much more dutiful and steady. The rest were all like Long Chen, a bunch of troublemakers. Furthermore, all of them were incredibly daring. She had introduced these terrifying figures to give them a warning and make them reserve themselves. But it seemed she had wasted her efforts. All right, you can continue here. I'll take a rest. Shu Wuhan stood up, said her goodbyes, and just left. Everyone was startled. Men Qi hastily gave Long Chen a glance, and he immediately understood and followed Shu Wuhan. Big sister, are you angry? Long Chen smiled. No. Ha ha ha. Big sister, it seems your words don't match your heart. Laughed Long Chen. You, you little brat. If you laugh again, I'll give you a beating. Raged Shu Wuhan. All right. Fine. Big sister, I know you told us all of that out of kindness. Look at me. I might be laughing, but I'm very clear on that. I'm not someone who doesn't know what's important and what's not. Long Chen knew Shu Wuhan had good intentions, but they had laughed it off and that naturally did not give her a good feeling. No matter how old you became, no matter how high your cultivation base became, such a thing would naturally make a person feel unwell. And compared to men, women liked to be more meticulous. She truly did feel a bit unwell inside due to their actions. Furthermore, she was their monastery head. Accompany me for a stroll, sighed Shu Wuhan. Of course, Long Chen didn't refuse, as if it were the most natural thing in the world. He wrapped an arm around Shu Wuhan's arm, acting as if she were his sister. Shu Wuhan shook slightly, but she didn't throw him off. The two of them slowly began to walk. This was the 36th Super Monastery's camp, and their territory was extremely large. Long Chen and Shu Wuhan walked alongside each other to a small lake. The lake water was extremely clear, and Koi swam freely inside. It was extremely peaceful and comforting. Shu Wuhan bitterly smiled. Long Chen, you really are a demon. Sometimes you make a person so happy that they want to kiss you, and sometimes you make them so infuriated that they want to give you a beating. Shu Wuhan's mood hadn't been good, but with how obediently Long Chen was acting now, she didn't have the heart to berate him. He, I already have quite a bit of experience of big sister beating me, but it seems I have no memory of being kissed. Should we try it? Laughed Long Chen. Shu Wuhan wrapped Long Chen on the chest. She had an urge to rebuke him, but then seeing his smile, she also couldn't hold back a laugh. Only then did Long Chen get down to business. Big sister, I know you were warning us for our own good. Although in terms of worldly wisdom, I'm not comparable to you. I have my own martial path. Since I've chosen that path, I can't waver. If I do, I'll never be able to advance again. 
My Deo is one of advancing forward no matter what. If mountains block me, I'll split mountains. If rivers block me, I'll split rivers. Even if mountains of corpses and seas of blood appear, I still won't retreat, nor will I detour. This is my Deo. This is my conviction. Perhaps others aren't able to understand it and will think that I am stupid. But I know what I'm doing. I would rather be a glorious firework than a long-lasting rock. In fact, we all feel that way. Shu Wuhan's heart shook. She hadn't expected Long Chen to be so obstinate. What he was describing was the undefeatable Dao, the hardest path to walk. In order to maintain a bright Dao heart, he could never suffer defeaturing in his entire life. But that was impossible. A cultivator would run into countless experts in their lives. Who could possibly guarantee that they would never lose? Once they lost, their Dao heart would waver, and their cultivation base would never advance again. And it wasn't just Long Chen. He was bringing with him a group of people to walk this path. That was too crazy. But with her understanding of Long Chen, she knew he wouldn't listen to anyone else's advice. Thinking of that, she couldn't help sighing. Everything would be up to him. Long Chen didn't dislike Xu Wuhan's nagging. On the other hand, he appreciated it, because it meant Xu Wuhan truly did care about him. Is everything from that side handled? Asked Xu Wuhan. Pretty much. Long Chen gave her a general summary of what had happened in the pill tower. He didn't need to hide anything from Xu Wuhan. When she heard that the Huo family had been eradicated and that the Fang and Che family heads had been killed by him, Xu Wuhan was shocked. If it had been someone else who had said this, she wouldn't believe it even if they beat her to death. It really is unexpected that Fang Mingyuan and Che Gao Yang would be blinded in the end. Regretful, sighed Xu Wuhan. In truth, just how many higher-ups are able to keep their conscience? In their eyes, there is no right and wrong. There is only profit. When the profit is big enough, they won't even hesitate. I've experienced far too much of that kind of thing, let alone the Fang and Che families. Even if I joined the Shu family, I'm certain the Shu family head would also have made the same decision as them. That's why I refused to join the Shu family back then. Unless you are able to become the family head, I have no confidence in the Shu family, said Long Chen. Hearing that he didn't trust her family head, Shu Wuhan was a bit distressed. After all, that was her senior, but she had no choice but to admit that his words were extremely correct, and his last sentence and his trust in her warmed her heart. All right, you can leave now. Go accompany those beauties and brothers of yours. Xu Wuhan smiled. What about you? Me. Forget about it. I really am unable to talk with you children. Xu Wuhan shook her head. Xu Guanzi Xu Guanzi. Xu Guanzi meaning water pipe. Chapter 705 Running into Song Wuian Translator born to be everyone drank quickly with how excited they were, and in less than a few hours, they collapsed from intoxication. Long Chen also drank quickly, because it had been a long time since he had relaxed like this. In his drunken, collapsed state, all he could remember was that someone helped him back to his room. Lying on his bed, Long Chen could recall two soft bodies and fragrant scents being present. He felt like he was floating in the clouds as he descended into a deep slumber. Long Chen, get up, it's morning and we have to go sign in. Long Chen was still deep in his slumber when Tang Wan'er's voice woke him up. He really didn't want to get up. He hadn't slept this well in a long time. With his eyes closed, he tried to pull Tang Wan'er into his embrace. But as a result, his hand ended up touching a soft and bouncy place. A-H-H. -H. Tang Wan'er shrieked, and seeing Long Chen's butt facing her, she viciously aimed a slap there. In his drowsy state, Long Chen still didn't know what was happening. He turned muttering, let me sleep. Ah, he had only just turned when Tang Wan'er's hand landed on his crotch. Long Chen instantly shot up. Ah, sorry, I, I didn't do it on purpose. Seeing Long Chen holding his crotch with a pained expression, Tang Wan'er panicked. Are, are you trying to cripple me? Long Chen was sweating from the pain. He finally understood what the pain of the balls was. So those people he had hit there had actually been in this much pain. This location was definitely fatal. But it was a good thing Tang Wan'er's physical strength wasn't too high, or he would have been done for. I, I can, help you massage it, said Tang Wan'er in her panic. Ah, fine, let's start now. Long Chen let go of his crotch. Bastard, I knew you were just faking, raged Tang Wan'er. Her panicked expression had long since vanished to be replaced with a crafty smile. Damn it, she completely sees through this now. Looks like I'll need to switch up my ways in the future. Long Chen was speechless. After being with him so much, Tang Wan'er had completely adapted to his little tricks. However, 
It was true that that slap hadn't been painless. You two, don't mess around. It's time to sign in. Menki walked in, speechless at what she was seeing. Here, these are the disciple robes I got for you. Tang Wan'er and Menki helped to take off Long Chen's black robes. Why do I have to wear white? Ugh, it looks like I'm going to my funeral or something. Long Chen didn't like wearing white. The main thing was that this color got dirty the easiest. With his character, it would probably change color in just a day. Most likely to red. Don't fuss. If the law enforcement disciples heard that, you would be punished. Warned Men Ki. Men Ki and Tang Wan'er helped him put on his new robes. This was his first time experiencing such a pleasure. Just what a blessing was it for two peerless beauties to help him change his robes? Now, Men Ki was helping him straighten his collar with a tender expression. Men Ki, you really are beautiful. I missed you so much. Let me kiss you. Aya, don't joke around. Men Ki lightly hit Long Chen. She was both embarrassed and vexed, but that gave her an even more intoxicating look to Long Chen. Sigh. Wanner, Men Ki doesn't want my gift. Quickly come over here, and I'll bestow it to you Aya. Can you not be more gentle? Long Chen hadn't even finished speaking when a fist beat his back. Tang Wanner was much fiercer than Men Ki. In the end, the two women were satisfied with his white robes. He appeared exceptionally dashing like this. Yup, with these looks, you could definitely entice more beauties. Teased Tang Wanner. Miss Beauty, please entice me. Laughed Long Chen. Dislikable. Let's go sign in. Previously, when the others signed in, they always had to sneak over to avoid others finding trouble for them. As for me and Sister Men Ki, it was always inconvenient for us to go out. Now that you've arrived, let's go together and see just who dares to find trouble for us said Tang Wan'er. Although Long Chen was sometimes too obstinate and domineering, in her heart, Long Chen was always the most dependable existence. With Long Chen present, she wouldn't fear anything. The three confidently walked through the plaza. Previously, the others had always snuck their way through. Oh, not bad. The work's almost finished. From a distance, Long Chen saw a large man sitting on his butt, laying bricks. It was the rank two celestial he had exchanged blows with yesterday, Xiao Wuji. At this time, Xiao Wuji had finished most of the work. After a couple hundred more bricks, it would be finished. There was a large crowd of people watching him work. Long Chen. Seeing Long Chen arrive, Xiao Wuji was completely infuriated. That bastard had given him all the work. He had spent all night fixing these bricks, but he had heard from others that Long Chen had gotten completely drunk last night. Now he had an urge to immediately throttle him. He was a peerless heavenly genius. When would he have ever had to do such work? But this was the order of the Visect Master. With the kind of person he was, Xiao Wuji knew the Visect Master wouldn't go back on his orders. Even his monastery head had personally come to warn him to endure this. Otherwise, he really would be screwed. Xiao Wuji had no choice but to swallow his anger. Noveloon.com seeing Long Chen with Men Qi and Tang Wan'er on his arms, looking as if they were flaunting their relationship in front of him. That anger almost drove him crazy. TCH, you really are narrow minded. Isn't it just some small work? Are you mad I didn't pay you? Here, Long Chen disdainfully tossed him a purse and left just like that. Xiao Wuji instinctively received the purse. He thought the inside was empty, but when he tilted it, a copper coin fell out and landed on the ground. As it spun on the ground, it seemed like it was laughing at him. Long Chen, Xiao Wuji roared and was about to charge at him. Senior apprentice brother Xiao, you can't. Several of the celestials immediately went to hold him back. But Xiao Wuji was too strong, and these people were actually unable to physically stop him. One of them shouted, Senior Apprentice Brother Xiao, if you fight, you won't be able to attend the trial. Only then did he calm down slightly. He forcibly suppressed his rage. Seeing Long Chen brazenly swagger away, he suddenly let out a furious roar. This was his only way of releasing his anger, or he would definitely go crazy. Haha, <laughs> Long Chen, you really are evil, but I like it. Tang Wan'er was holding Long Chen's arm, laughing. That person looks just like a bear, but he actually dares to say he'll take me and Sister Men Ki. Truly courting death. Exactly. Exactly. To dare have the thought of snatching my, Long Chen's, women. He definitely is courting death. TCH. Leaving things like this really ends with me being the one to lose out. Long Chen suddenly shook his head. What do you want to do? Do you want to fight him? Asked Men Ki worriedly. No. I was thinking that I should go snatch his woman, said Long Chen. Scoundrel, his woman is definitely a giant female bear. Your taste couldn't have changed that drastically, right? 
raged Tang Wan'er. Ah, you're right. Then let's forget about it, laughed Long Chen. You too. When will you grow up? Don't you see others looking at you? Pay attention to your status. Also, Wan'er, don't keep calling Long Chen bastard and scoundrel. That's not good, and it is harmful to his prestige, advised Men Qi. Oh, I understand, sister. Tang Wan'er obediently nodded. She often listened to Men Qi, as she was older than her. He, it's fine. This is Wan'er's term of endearment for me. That's because my goal has always been to be a new and improved scoundrel, laughed Long Chen. When others called him scoundrel, that was an insult. But when Tang Wan'er called him that, it reminded the two of them of their first time together. Long Chen. Tang Wan'er was moved by this. Foolish girl. What do you want? Long Chen. You scoundrel. Men Qi was speechless. She quickened their pace. Being together with these two required a face impervious to blade or spear. And she didn't have that. She couldn't ignore everyone's strange gazes. The two of them really were a match made in heaven. Wherever they went, they would fight. They never took a break. They quickly reached the registration hall. Men Qi said. Long Chen. Bring out your super monastery seal and place it on the registration book. Super monastery seal? What's that? Asked Long Chen. Men Qi asked. Didn't someone give it to you yesterday? Have you forgotten? Aya, I drank so much yesterday. I think I placed it on the table and forgot about it. Long Chen slapped his leg. Now he had to run back. But he didn't make Men Qi and Tang Wan'er come with him. He rushed back on his own. He had only just rushed out of the door when he collided with someone who had coincidentally been coming in. When they collided, a layer of light suddenly appeared out of that person and sent Long Chen flying back. But that person also stumbled back. Are you blind? The newcomer was a woman. She was slender and beautiful. Her long hair was like a waterfall rippling to her waist. She was very beautiful, and she even possessed a grand charm. She was a beauty who possessed both looks and elegance. But there was also a great arrogance that came from her. Her words were especially vexing to a person. Long Chen had been about to apologize, but hearing her chiding, he was irritated. If you weren't blind, you wouldn't have walked into me. Don't try to put all the blame on one side. Don't be the pot calling the kettle black. Long Chen, what is it? Men Qi and Tang Wan'er hastily came out to take a look upon hearing Long Chen's words. When they did, they were both startled. Chapter 706 Pleasant Surprise Translator Born to be Song Wuyan cried Men Qi and Tang Wan'er. She was Song Wuyan? Long Chen couldn't help being startled. How could there be something this coincidental? You are Long Chen. Song Wuyan icily looked at Long Chen and then shook her head. Truly two flowers stuck in manure. At least it's better than being stuck nowhere, raged Long Chen. What mental illness did this woman have? It wasn't as if he had provoked her. Zhang Wuyan merely snorted and entered to sign in. What happened? Long Chen, why would you fight here? Asked Men Qi. Only a ghost would know. My guess is that she didn't take her medicine before leaving the house. Or perhaps she took the wrong medicine. Just wait here while I get my seal, said Long Chen. I think we should go with you. With your temperament. When you run into Xiao Wuji, if he doesn't attack you first, you'll probably be the one to attack him. Men Qi shook her head. If they really let Long Chen go alone, then in his furious state, if Xiao Wuji provoked him even slightly, he might explode. Men Qi really understood Long Chen the best. It was better to be safe. When they had finally gotten the super monastery seal and returned, Zhang Wuyan had already left, allowing Men Qi and Tang Wan'er to sigh a breath of relief. Long Chen. Do you think Song Wuyan is beautiful? Tang Wan'er suddenly asked on the way back. Just barely. Although he disliked her as a person, he had no choice but to admit that she truly was beautiful. A person had to discuss things without bias. Then would you like her? Asked Tang Wan'er. Like her? Why would I like her? Don't mess around. I'm being serious. Fine. Then I'll tell the truth. I don't like her. Said Long Chen. Why not? She's very beautiful. Tang Wan'er continued in her questioning, refusing to let Long Chen off just like this. What? Do I have to like someone just because they look beautiful? Long Chen was practically speechless. What kind of logic was this? Don't change the subject. Is she as beautiful as me and Sister Men Qi? Wan'er. Men Qi was blushing. Who asked people questions like this? Long Chen laughed. When it comes to beauty, she might barely be able to stand on the same level as you. But when it comes to the vastness of her heart, she is too lacking, the vastness of her heart. Men Qi and Tang Wan'er didn't understand what he was saying at first, but following his gaze to their chests, the two of them immediately blushed. Long Chen, you pervert. 
How dare you say something like that? Long Chen laughed and ran off. Meng Qi and Tang Wan are shot off in hot pursuit. It had been a long time since Long Chen had felt this relaxed, laughing and talking with his beauties. Although he liked this kind of feeling, once they got back, he had to get down to business. He gave Hua Wufang's spatial ring to Men Qi and Tang Wan Er so they could organize what was inside. At the same time, he thought of what he had won for taking first place at the Pill Emperor competition. He hastily looked inside that golden spatial ring. This was also a huge life ring, and it was even vaster than Hua Wufang's. A pill furnace. Long Chen saw three things in the ring. One was a golden pill furnace. The runes carved onto it gave it an elegant aura. It's actually a pill furnace on the enchanted item level. Long Chen was shocked. Pill furnaces were a must-have for alchemists, second only to pill flames. But pill furnaces were no ordinary items, and not just anyone could create them. An ordinary forging master might be able to create all kinds of weapons, but they would be unable to create a furnace. That was because forging a pill furnace required the usage of a pill flame. Only through the usage of pill flame would the furnace possess its own spirituality. Then, refining more pills wouldn't cause it to wear down but would instead nourish it. As it refined more pills, its quality would increase. The more a pill furnace was used, the more valuable it became. So true alchemists would always pass on their pill furnace to their most beloved disciple before dying. However, to have this kind of effect, the pill furnace had to have reached the enchanted level. Other pill furnaces could also possess a slight nourishing effect, but that effect was essentially negligible. Pill furnaces on the enchanted level had special formation runes carved into them. When refining pills, those runes would draw the surrounding natural energy into the pills to raise their quality. The alchemist could also use their spiritual strength to multiply the effects of those runes. But not every alchemist had that qualification. That was because just refining the pill would be very taxing on their spiritual strength, and they wouldn't have any leftover energy to activate the runes. But Long Chen was different. His spiritual strength was incredibly vast, and he wasn't even able to finish using it all. This furnace was practically tailor-made for him. He, a treasure, definitely a treasure. I'll be able to refine twice as fast with half the effort now. Long Chen was delighted. In Hua Wufang's spatial ring, he had found a sixth-tier pill furnace. It was definitely peak grade amongst sixth-tier furnaces. At that time, he had directly thrown it into the primal chaos space. But compared to this enchanted level pill furnace, that sixth tier furnace was absolute trash. Just this pill furnace completely satisfied him. Currently, he had consumed close to a thousand enlightenment palace pills, but the cyclone had still not reached its peak state. He estimated he would need close to another thousand to reach that point. The main problem was that the pills he was consuming weren't high enough quality. Huo Long was only able to refine one ring pills. That was much lower quality than the pills he refined personally, but he didn't have enough time to refine. This enchanted level pill furnace solved one of his urgent needs. Although the quality of the pills wouldn't immediately be much higher, as time passed, under an earth flame and the medicinal pills nourishing, this pill furnace would become better and better, allowing the quality to gradually increase. The more the furnace was used, the better. He directly tossed the pill furnace to Huo Long having it continue refining Enlightenment Palace pills. He would need to trouble Huo Long during this time. Normally, when Huo Long wasn't refining pills, it was devouring the energy from the beast flames. Once it got full, it would continue working. Long Chen moved on to the next item. It was a prayer mat. It was woven out of nine yang heavenly unicorn grass. What money? Long Chen was shocked. This was a kind of extremely magical grass that could nourish a person's soul. A single stalk of it could be used for a hundred years. But this entire mat was woven out of it. There had to be at least hundreds of stalks. Unfortunately, although it's a good treasure and practically a divine item to alchemists, it's useless for me. But Menki and Wanner can use it, and it'll be especially beneficial to Menki since she's a pure soul cultivator. She has no suitable housepits right now, and so she has to rely entirely on soul arts. With this prayer mat, her cultivation will definitely advance rapidly, and there's no worry of her foundation growing unstable as a soul cultivator. I suppose I'll first take out a stock and plant it in the primal chaos space. After that, he moved on to the third and final item. This is, damn it, they really cheated me. The last item was a medicinal pill. It was known as an ancient pill, something that had flowed down from the ancient era. The pill Deo was filled with variations. Although the majority of medicinal pills were supposed to be consumed immediately or within a certain amount of time, 
Some weren't. They were to be stored over long periods of time. These pills were covered in a special layer called a pill veil that allowed them to absorb energy from the sun and the moon to nourish the pill. This nourishing effect was very slow. The method to refine such pills had already been lost. Thus, such pills were normally only found when exploring ancient ruins. But not all pills could be stored for so long. Some pills would eventually become toxic, and as soon as you consumed them, you could ascend. Although this pill was covered in a pill veil, Long Chen could tell what pill it was. It was a seventh tier pill, the Hidden Glyph Tiger Soul pill. Its main ingredient was a seventh rank Hidden Glyph Tiger Soul. The Hidden Glyph Tiger was a magical beast from the ancient era, but even back then, it had been extremely rare. The Hidden Glyph Tiger had a set of lines on its body. Those lines weren't set at their birth. Instead, those lines would constantly change as their cultivation base grew. It was rumored that the Hidden Glyph Tiger was no ordinary magical beast. It actually relied on comprehending the heavenly deos in order to cultivate. That sounded like absolute nonsense. If magical beasts relied on comprehending the heavenly deos, would they even be magical beasts? However, this kind of backwards magical beast did exist. The hidden glyph tiger's essence soul contained extremely dense heavenly deo energy. That kind of energy was very miraculous, and could help a person comprehend the heavenly deos and allow them to break through a bottleneck. After absorbing the sun and moon's essence for countless years, its rings had disappeared. Instead, a figure could be seen on the outside of the pill. That figure moved about as if it were alive. This pill had already broken through the limit of high-grade pills to reach the top-grade classification. If Long Chen were to use a top-grade 7th-tier Hidden Glyph Tiger Soul pill to break through to see expansion, it would be an absolute waste of a treasure. More importantly, this thing was essentially useless to Long Chen. He cultivated the nine-star hegemon body art. His cultivation path was different from others, and this pill would have no effect on him. Furthermore, it wasn't just that he couldn't use it. The others had no need of it either. Everyone's foundations in the Xi'anshan realm were incomparably solid. Even without this pill, they would smoothly reach the sea expansion realm. Hmm. If I add some material to this pill, I could give it to Big Sister. If she's lucky, she'll have a definite chance of breaking through to foundation forging. Then with an ancestor level expert backing me, couldn't I be as crazy as I wanted to be in the Zuanshan Deo sect? I could slap whoever I want. I could snatch whoever's women I wanted for a sea expansion expert. This pill's effect would be a bit lacking. But Long Chen found a very complicated formula within the pill god memories. That night, he refined a bowl of medicinal liquid. This medicinal liquid had no use on its own. But when consumed with the hidden Glyph Tiger Soul pill, the combined medicinal effect would be 10 times greater. Even Chu Wuhan, a late sea expansion expert, would have a good chance of advancing. Just like that, holding the bowl of medicinal liquid, Long Chen rushed off towards Chu Wuhan's residence. Chapter 707 Third Have Vestige of Xi'anshan Translator Born to be leaving Xu Wuhan's residence, Long Chen was filled with anticipation. If Xu Wuhan could reach foundation forging, he would truly have found a reliable backer for himself. Xu Wuhan had at first been confused upon seeing Long Chen bringing her a medicinal pill and liquid. Long Chen directly explained that they were special medicine he had refined just for her. Although she found this odd as she didn't know much about alchemy, she still consumed them due to her trust in Long Chen. As soon as she did, her expression became one of wild delight. She immediately felt her mental state enter a state of emptiness, and her perception of the heavenly deos gradually grew clearer. The greatest gain was that she actually felt her bottleneck weaken slightly. She was far too familiar with that feeling. She had felt that three times in the past. Unfortunately, she had never been able to grab hold of that opportunity. Now, without Long Chen's reminder, she immediately knew what to do. She focused on entering a perfect meditative state to take advantage of this opportunity. For sea expansion experts, advancing to foundation forging wasn't as simple as just attacking the barrier. Xu Wuhan had already been at the late sea expansion realm for almost 500 years. She had tried attacking foundation forging three times, but she had failed. Trying to reach foundation forging through force was useless. It relied on grabbing hold of a certain kind of opportunity that the heavenly deos bestowed on you. When a person's mind entered a state of complete calm, it would be easier to grasp that opportunity. But the world was filled with countless worries. No one was truly able to keep their mind and heart in a perfect state of calm with no distracting thoughts. After failing three times, Xu Wuhan had already become a bit dejected. She hadn't managed to feel this kind of opportunity in the last 300 years. 
She had already accepted that she would never be able to reach Foundation Forging. Now Long Chen had given her another chance. Furthermore, her comprehension of the Heavenly Deos had never been this clear before. She would go all out in her attempt to seize this opportunity and forge an immortal platform. Foundation Forging referred to creating a platform on top of the expanded sea. This platform was sometimes called the Immortal Platform. It was also sometimes called the Deo Platform. It was the foundation for your chance of ever becoming an immortal or god. It could be said that only once you reached Foundation Forging were you a true cultivator. As for those so-called immortals and gods, they were just a legend. But it was true that once you reached Foundation Forging, your lifespan would extend a great deal. See expansion experts had a lifespan of around 1500 years. However, Shu Wuhan would only have a lifespan of 1200 years. That was because most women, especially beautiful women, would train in a kind of secret art. At the price of reducing their lifespan, they could maintain their youthful appearance. That was also why there were many old men in sea expansion but not many old women. But once you reached foundation forging and created your immortal platform, you would be able to absorb the exceedingly thin immortal key in the air. Then your lifespan would increase to 5000 years, and your youthful looks would be restored. Long Chen was only able to help out this much. The rest would be up to Shu Wuhan. According to reason, she should have a good chance. When Long Chen returned, he saw Men Qi and Tang Wan Er holding hands and quietly whispering about something. He didn't know what they were saying, but when they saw him, they immediately turned red and shut their mouths. To talk badly about someone behind their back, each person is punished with one kiss. Long Chen suddenly swooped down and gave Men Qi and Tang Wan Er a kiss each. The two of them released a tempest of fists against him. He laughed and rushed off to his private training room. The trial was about to start, and he had to take advantage of this time to increase his strength. Out of the four heavenly geniuses, he had run into two. That bear had already become enemies with him. Thus, there would definitely be someone to play with in the trial. Shu Wuhan had told him that he was an earth attribute expert. If he summoned the cry of the heavenly deos, then whether it was heaven or earth, endless energy would become his to use. He was different from a fake like Huo Wufang. He was a true rank 2 celestial and the two of them were as different as heaven and earth. Although Long Chen wasn't afraid of him, if he was speaking frankly, his chances of winning weren't high. As for Song Wuyan, she was clearly no kind-hearted woman. As soon as she opened her mouth, it was like she wanted to take a bite out of someone. Furthermore, Long Chen felt she was too arrogant. She liked to look down her nose on people. That was something that he didn't like. Although she wouldn't necessarily be an enemy, the chances of them becoming allies were essentially zero. As for the other two, he doubted they would be well disposed toward him, especially that water pipe. He would very likely make things hard for him in the trial. According to Shu Wuhan, this trial was extremely beneficial. So many people would be going all out for this trial. It was because Long Chen knew this trial was so important that he trusted that Xiao Wuji would definitely tidy all the bricks so he could participate. Right now, Long Chen needed to urgently increase his strength. Otherwise, in the trial, he might get suppressed then it wouldn't be so fun. He took out his pill furnace. He needed to personally refine some higher grade pills to condense the cyclone. Ah, how refreshing. Long Chen had only just opened the furnace when it began to dimly shine. As he poured in his spiritual strength, the furnace's runes grew brighter, almost looking like they were alive. He had only just poured in the powders when they instantly merged. The pill furnace also gave him much greater control and he didn't need to worry about the flame suddenly growing and turning the ingredients to ashes. Also, the pill furnace's runes were being activated by his spiritual strength, which absorbed the air's energy and poured it into the pills. The furnace shook slightly. Long Chen was stunned. He had actually refined it so quickly. Opening the lid, he saw nine jade-like sparkling pills that were still slowly rolling in the furnace. Damn, they're all nine ring pills. This is too amazing. Long Chen gulped. This was the best pill furnace he had ever encountered. In his delight, he refined nine furnaces of pills in one go, and they were all nine ring pills. And with the nourishment of his soul, the pill furnace only became better. After that, he placed the furnace back in the primal chaos space and had Huo Long refine on its own. In any case, Huo Long didn't have anything better to do. The beast flames it had confined were only able to give him a single bite of energy after a whole day's recovery. Huo Long had nothing else to do during the rest of the day, so it directly became Long Chen's hardworking apprentice. As Huo Long's strength increased, its intelligence also grew. 
It actually gave birth to the slightest bit of soul energy. It was able to communicate simple thoughts with Long Chen, and it could even use its soul energy when refining. Boom. An explosive sound came from Long Chen's body. He was delighted, thinking that the cyclone had been fully formed, but then he realized he was wrong. Instead, he had advanced to the third heaven stage of Xi'anshan, although he hadn't deliberately cultivated. The enormous amount of energy in over a thousand Enlightenment Palace pills had pushed his cultivation base higher. 81 Nine Ring Enlightenment Palace pills were consumed in just a few hours. It went without saying that the energy contained in Nine Ring pills was truly enormous. The cyclone had grown much larger. Long Chen estimated that he would completely condense it with just a hundred more pills. He was about to continue refining when Tang Wan'er called him out. Everyone had gathered. The trial was about to start. Long Chen tidied up and walked out with Tang Wan'er. He had only just come out when he saw Men Qi talking to Xu Wuhan. It was a failure. Long Chen couldn't help being disappointed upon seeing Xu Wuhan. Her aura hadn't changed in the slightest. Xu Wuhan was doing her best to suppress her emotions, but she was unable to conceal the excitement and delight in her eyes. She didn't hide the truth from him. She whispered, it was a success, but your aura, fool, the foundation forging realm is different from other realms. Even if I managed to take advantage of this opportunity, condensing the foundation takes a long time. Only through a great deal of time and effort is it possible to create the immortal platform. Only once the immortal platform takes form will I go through the baptism of heavenly tribulation and become able to sense the immortal spiritual key in the world. Only then will I be a true ancestor level expert. I've already begun to condense the foundation in my key C. In other words, I'll quickly become an ancestor level expert. It's just that others aren't able to sense it yet. The constant solemn and stern expression on Xu Wuhan's face finally disappeared. She seemed like a woman in the springtime of her youth, and a smile of excitement appeared on her face. Haha, <laughs> congratulations big sister. Doesn't that mean that I can be as crazy as I want in the Zhuanshan Dao sect now? Long Chen was also incomparably excited. The feeling of having a reliable backer was truly good. Seeing his evil smile, Xu Wuhan's excitement faded by at least half. She warned, Long Chen, you little brat, you better not intentionally cause any trouble. Even once I advance to foundation forging, my status will only be on the level of the Visect Master. When it comes to compatibilities, I most definitely won't be on the same level as a true ancestor. Most importantly, there's still the Sect Master above the Visect Master. That's a person who has lived so long they've practically reached the level of a living fossil. Don't mess around, because if you end up disturbing that person, We'll all be doomed. Long Chen awkwardly smiled. Big sister, do you think a well-behaved person like me would intentionally cause trouble? After saying that, he saw Men Qi and Tang Wan'er looking at him oddly. It could not be more obvious what they were thinking. They didn't believe him. That made Long Chen feel even more awkward. How could these two girls not know how to stick up for him? Xu Wuhan said. All right, let's focus. Make sure to keep this matter secret. Also, gather up the others. In two hours. We'll be heading out to the trial region. Chapter 708 War of Words Translator Born to be in front of the ancestral statue of the Zhuanshan Dao sect, the 36th Supermonastery's people had all lined up. Long Chen and the others from the 36th Supermonastery were all at the very back. Long Chen carefully sized up these people. It was as Xu Wuhan had said. The 36th Supermonastery's numbers truly were the lowest of all the Supermonasteries, and pitifully low, because he was standing at the back. Long Chen was unable to catch a glimpse of Xiao Wuji and the others. Furthermore, it wasn't suitable to use his spiritual strength to nose around here. That was especially true since there were women here too. This kind of spiritual probing was no different than peeping at them. He would definitely be cursed. There were almost 100,000 elite disciples here who had all reached the Xi'anshan realm. That was truly shocking. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's four families experts had also gathered. They were at up a large stage at the front. There was still an empty spot on that stage, and that was for the Visect Master. He hadn't arrived yet, but the four families had already gathered. Long Chen narrowed his eyes. At the front of the four families were four ancient elders that were currently discussing something. Long Chen was speechless. Considering how old they looked, it was difficult for him to tell who was who. It was unknown just how many centuries these old fellows had lived for. In any case, their wrinkles were more concentrated than the growth rings of oak trees and their hair was as white as snow, but their gazes were still alive and healthy. The feeling they gave Long Chen was that they were wily old foxes that had taken human form. 
These four were the family heads. Although their cultivation bases had only reached the late sea expansion realm, the reason they had become their family's heads wasn't because of strength, but because of their brilliant methods. That was what had won them the favor of the previous generation's family heads. The leftmost elder was the Ku family's head, Ku Chengfeng, the first supermonastery. In other words, the strongest supermonastery was amongst the nine supermonasteries they controlled. The second rank celestial, Yu Kianshan, also came from the first supermonastery. The next one was an elder with a long mustache and beard. He was the Shu family's head, Shu Yunkong. Although these four were all ancient elders, when comparing them, Shu Yunkong was at least slightly better looking than the others. Shu Wuhan sat behind him. Her eyes were closed, clearly displaying her indifference toward the ones around her. She appeared a bit isolated when compared to the others who were constantly discussing something. The strongest supermonastery that the Shu family controlled was the fifth supermonastery, and their number one genius, Shu Guanzhi, hailed from there. Rather than saying that Shu Guanzhi was someone raised by the fifth supermonastery, it was better to say he was someone personally raised by the Shu family. The reason he was placed in the fifth supermonastery was just a formality. Beside Shu Yunkong was an elder whose face was slightly darker. He was the Wang family's head. The second supermonastery was under the administration of the Wang family, while Song Wuyan was their peak expert. As for the final elder, he was bald. His head was even shinier than other bald heads. It almost seemed like he had buffed it with wax. The light reflecting off it could light up all of heaven and earth. It was currently noon, and looking from a distance, it was like there were two sons. This bald elder was from the Shu family's sworn enemy, the Zhao family's head, Zhao Shianai. Although the Shu and Zhao families didn't get along, when the four family heads chatted, they actually seemed to be chatting very amicably. Brother Yang Kong, congratulations. Your Shu family not only has Shu Guanzhi, but now even Long Chen has returned. That's a cause for celebration, said Zhao Shianai with a smile. Haha, <laughs> this is the old ancestor's blessing. He wouldn't allow a genius to fall just like this. Many thanks for your care, Brother Shianai, responded Shu Yang Kong. He knew this old fellow was probing him. As expected, Zhao Shianai said, Myself and the others are very curious. How did Long Chen manage to survive that heavenly punishment? After all, the Corrupt Path's 5C expansion experts, 9 Celestials, and 80,000 elite disciples were all exterminated by it without a single one of them living. But Long Chen did. It really is puzzling. Let alone Zhao Shianai. Even the other two family heads were shocked upon hearing that Long Chen had returned. What had happened in the Chaos region was no secret in the Zhuanshan Dao sect although this matter had been mainly caused by the Pill Tower's Huo family. The Zhao family had been the one to act as a go-between. The photographic jade was proof of that, and that had brought on the fury of the Vice Sect Master. The Zhao family had put in a great deal of trouble to settle this affair. Not only had they scapegoated Zhao Qingyi and her son, but they had also given Chu Wuhan an immense amount of resources as compensation. But once that compensation had been given, once their people had been killed, once they had lost those resources, Long Chen had suddenly come back alive and well. That made Zhao Shianai feel like he had swallowed crap. He even suspected that they had known all along that Long Chen hadn't died. All to con his Zhao family. Haha, <laughs> brother Shianai, you really are amazing. You're even this clear on their numbers and levels. It really makes a person think. Shu Yunkong laughed sinisterly. Think what? Brother Yunkong. Don't talk drivel. Zhao Shianai's expression sank. Shu Yunkong was clearly trying to say that he had colluded with the corrupt path. That charge was something he wouldn't be able to bear and was something that would result in the destruction of the entire family. The reason the matter with setting up Long Chen had drawn the Vice Sect Master's fury was because the corrupt path had ended up participating. If that was the case, then it was completely different from an internal struggle. If they hadn't pushed all the blame onto the Huo family. His Zhao family really wouldn't have been able to bear the consequences. Ha ha ha, brother Shianai, you're too sensitive. My meaning was that I think you must like to gather information. It must be hard on you, laughed Shu Yunkong. But anyone with ears could hear he was intentionally mocking Zhao Shianai for colluding with the corrupt path to set up Long Chen. Although this matter had been backed by the Huo family, they were unable to escape that stain. Everyone present was a wily old fox. Zhao Shianai didn't get angry. If he did get angry, that would put him in a disadvantageous position. He had long since gotten used to this kind of verbal sparring. Haha, <laughs> I truly did investigate this matter. After all, 
This was my Sao family's mistake. We gave birth to degenerate disciples that were swayed by others into doing something foolish. As the family head, I naturally share some of that blame. So I look deeply into this matter in order to get justice for Long Chen. Otherwise, how would I face these disciples? Zhao Shian I sighed with shame. It was regretful that Long Chen wasn't close enough. If he were to hear this, he would probably have to prostrate himself toward him in admiration. He would definitely have to ask, just how did you manage to make your face this thick? But these old fellows were all capable of committing shameful and shameless acts without batting an eye. Shu Wuhan had her eyes closed, but her mouth was curled in a mocking smile. She didn't want to speak. She didn't want to participate in this kind of hypocritical fight of words. As for why she didn't open her eyes, it was because she was afraid of puking upon seeing their faces. Brother Shian Ai truly is a person of unquestionable integrity and character, a model for all of us, praised Xu Yankong. But when others heard it, it somehow sounded mocking. I wouldn't dare to accept such praise, but I do feel like it would simply be the right thing for everyone to know the facts. What do you say? Monastery head Xu. Zhao Shian Ai looked at Xu Wuhan. Upon seeing this, Xu Yankong frowned slightly, but he didn't say anything in the end. He was still angry with Xu Wuhan. This child was too disobedient. When it came to seniority, Xu Wuhan should call him uncle. But because of the matter with Long Chen, she had even gone against this uncle of hers, causing him to lose face. And when the time came for her to get the compensation, she didn't even consider backing the family. As for the Zhao family, they were truly brilliant. They had intentionally handed the compensation to Xu Wuhan in order to incite internal strife amongst the Xu family. The results were exactly what Zhao Shian Ai wanted. Due to Long Chen's death, he had paid a great deal of compensation, but this compensation had been used to incite disharmony with Xu Wuhan and the rest of the Xu family. That had been a brilliant move, but now Long Chen had reappeared, and he felt like he had been duped, as if he had been the one to fall for the Xu family's trap. He even suspected that the disharmony in the Xu family was just an act they were putting on for him to see. What are you talking about? Xu Wuhan slowly opened her eyes, but she didn't look at Cao Shian Ai. She didn't want to look at that glaring bald head. Looking at that oily thing was nauseating. Of course I'm talking about Long Chen. How did he manage to survive? So many people died. And he's the only survivor? I hope Monastery Head Shu can explain it to me with a bit of detail and flair. We're all very curious, said Cao Shian Ai. But his words were clearly a trap. That was especially true about asking her to explain it with flair. It was clearly saying that he hoped for her to come up with a good lie without any holes. It was extremely forceful. However, when such words came from these old fellows' mouths, they always sounded too amiable, making a person think it was just a normal conversation. But in truth, their words all contained hidden blades designed to infuriate their opponents and create holes in their mental states. This skill was essential to a family head. Long Chen said that when he encountered the heavenly punishment, the ground split apart, and he directly jumped in. Then the ground closed behind him and that's how he dodged the heavenly tribulation. After that, he spent the next few months digging a tunnel to get out. That's why he almost missed the trial, said Xu Wuhan. In truth, she was inventing absolute nonsense. That was a skill she had learned from Long Chen. She felt like after being in contact with Long Chen for so long, her own character had changed. Now she could babble wildly without batting an eye. He spent several months digging a tunnel. Naturally, no one believed it. Yes. Long Chen said that he turned stupid from terror at the time and that he accidentally dug downward. It was only after digging for several months that he realized his mistake and dug the other direction, allowing him to once more see the sun, said Xu Wuhan. What nonsense, raged Cao Shian Ai. She was clearly simply messing with them. No matter how stupid a person was, how could they possibly confuse up and down? If it was just mistaking north, east, south, and west, that was one thing but no one could possibly be that stupid. I also felt it was nonsense. So if you want to know the truth, if you want more details, if you want more flair, you should go ask Long Chen. He'll definitely give you a satisfactory response. Xu Wuhan smiled. With Long Chen's character, he could make them choke to death with just a single sentence. Xu Wuhan was filled with anticipation. With Long Chen's ability to infuriate others, would he anger these fellows to their deaths when they encountered each other? She even had an urge to call Long Chen over and ask him about this matter right now. Just at this moment, a figure appeared in the sky, and everyone's mouths immediately shot. They hastily stood and bowed. 
Greetings Visect Master, Zhao Xianai, Zhao is just a surname, and Xianai means heaven's will, Shu Yan Kong, Shu equals water, Yan equals cloud, Kong equals smart, Hu Chen Feng, Hu equals song, Chen Feng equals ride the wind, or take advantage of an opportunity, no name is given for the Wang family head, Wang equals king, but this is also an extremely common surname, chapter 709 Zhuanchen Si translator, Born to be the person who had come was the Visect Master. Following his arrival, the somewhat noisy plaza immediately became silent. The Visect Master's gaze roved around everyone. It's time. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's martial trial will soon begin. But before that, let me warn you all. This trial is a huge opportunity for all of you. Cherish it properly. Long Chen's heart shook. Xu Wuhan had also emphasized that this was an opportunity. The greatest benefit the Zhuangshan Dao sect bestowed on its disciples, but she hadn't directly said what it was. The Vice Sect Master slowly formed a hand seal, and space began to tremble intensely. Long Chen saw the hundreds of huge stone pillars around the plaza light up with runes. The scene around him instantly changed. This, this is a formation. Long Chen was shocked. The entire plaza had actually been an enormous transportation formation. The sky became dusky and the blazing sun had completely disappeared. They appeared on the edge of a huge basin. This basin had a diameter of tens of thousands of miles. The land was a shiny rock that looked as if it had been meticulously polished. It actually looked like a huge wok. What was this for? Were they supposed to cook some kind of giant stir-fry here? This is the first part of the trial. The Zhuangshan Sea, announced the Visect Master from midair. Sea, the disciples were all flabbergasted. Where was the sea? Rumble. Suddenly, heaven and earth began to tremble. Everyone hastily looked toward the basin, only to see a huge whirlpool appear. A terrifying pressure caused their hearts to tremble. The whirlpool grew larger and larger. Endless astral winds crazily billowed out like ocean waves. Even from the edge, they felt like it was hard to breathe. They involuntarily retreated a few steps. This wind, Long Chen's heart shook. Now you understand why this is called the Zhuangshan Sea. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's trial isn't taking place just here. The Eastern Wasteland, Western Desert, Southern Sea, and Northern Sources branch sects are all undergoing the trial at the same time. The time between martial gatherings differs each time. It is decided by the head sect in the Central Plains. Sometimes it will only happen once every 10 years. Sometimes it will happen once every 50 years. The fact that you coincided with it this time is your luck. This trial is only open to Zhuangshan disciples. As for what the benefits are, according to the rules, you'll have to experience and test it out for yourselves. This isn't because we don't want to tell you, but because this trial is too miraculous. Each person will obtain different things, and for us to try to guide you based on other people's standards would only harm you. So in this trial, you'll have to grope around yourselves. As for what benefits you can obtain, it'll be up to your luck. The whirlpool at the basin grew larger as the Visect Master spoke. The wind was like a tide. It truly appeared like a vast sea. Long Chen, this tide contains endless wind energy. It's a priceless treasure to me. Tang Wan'er pulled on Long Chen's hand excitedly. This tide contains the will of the sword Dao. I can sense a majestic sword intent within it that is of great assistance to me, said Yu Zifeng. The others were also extremely excited. They could all sense things for themselves. But Long Chen was startled. Why couldn't he sense anything? After another hour. Everyone saw that the tide had become extremely clear. Furthermore, it was now split into different colors. The outer region was white, and then it was blue, red, and then the very core was violet. Gradually, the wind transformed into sea waves. However, this sea wasn't made of water, but wind. Everyone finally understood how the glossy ground had come about. All right, the Zhuangshan Sea has formed. You can choose for yourselves what region of the sea you want to stay in, announced the Visect Master. Following his words, several people immediately went in to take a path, but they had only just entered when they were blown back by the wild winds. Those who were stronger merely vomited a mouthful of blood, while those that were weaker directly fainted. With their intelligence, it really is amazing they're still alive, sighed Long Chen. Long Chen really wondered how these people had managed to reach this level of cultivation. One of those people had actually put on a dashing posture of diving into water, as if these waves were ordinary waves. As a result, just by trying to enter the edge of the whirlpool, he almost directly blew apart. People sympathized, but they were also speechless. As for the Visect Master and the other experts, they simply watched without the slightest emotion. 
Most likely, they had held this trial so many times that they had long since grown indifferent to this situation. Following a few dozen unlucky fellows who paid a miserable price, the others became smarter and entered the waves carefully. As soon as they entered, quite a few people's expressions changed. These waves contained a powerful pressure that was exerting a constant force on their bodies, making it feel like the waves were trying to tear them apart. Just carefully entering little by little took everything they had. They couldn't help feeling admiration for those brave warriors who had tested it just now for them. The people who managed to enter all had expressions of delight. It was obvious they had to be obtaining great benefits right now. Following the first few people, the others no longer hesitated. Some experts even forced their way past the pressure and rushed in. That was because the deeper they went, the greater the pressure and the greater the benefits. Let's go to. Long Chen led the 36th Super Monastery's disciples into the basin. When the waves landed on his body, he finally understood why those people were all so excited. Within these waves were all the various energies of heaven and earth. Huo Long and Lai Long almost charged out on their own. Don't fuss. I'll help you absorb it as much as possible. Long Chen hastily tried to control them. If they charged out, they would be too frightening, especially Lai Long. During the tribulation last time, Lai Long had absorbed all the human-shaped lightnings. Its strength had reached a level that even Long Chen found terrifying. Although Huo Long had beast flames to absorb energy from, compared to Lai Long, the difference was immense. There was no way around it. Lai Long had had far too much food to consume. To compare, Lai Long had eaten meat, while Huo Long was consuming tree bark and grass. One was so fat that oil was about to come out of it, while the other was skin and bones. They were not on the same level. What dense wind energy, exclaimed Tang Wan'er. Long Chen knew that the sea contained endless benefits, and the deeper you went, the greater the benefits. Even cultivators without an element could use the energy here to temper the physical body, stabilize the foundation, and comprehend the heavenly deos. Shu Wuhan had been entirely correct when she said that this was an immense opportunity. This kind of opportunity was something only an enormous existence like the Zhuanshan Dao sect had the qualifications to give. This was the power of a huge sect, power that other sects could never hope to obtain. Heavens, Yu Qianshan has already reached the Blue Region. The Zhuanshan Sea's outer region took up tens of thousands of miles, while the core region was only a few hundred miles. That core was the Violet Region. Outside the core region was a red region. This region was 3,000 miles wide. Then there was the Blue Region which was 10,000 miles wide. The rest was the White Region. This was the largest region and it was because it was all white that it looked more like coastal waters. This was the weakest region. However, for these people, going through this white region would require pausing every now and then in order to adjust to the new pressure. Only then could they continue. Long Chen raised his head to see a back with a sword on it in the distance. That figure had just charged into the blue region. How fast. His movement technique seems extremely powerful. And, Long Chen's heart suddenly shook. That figure was like a shadow as it advanced completely ignoring this terrifying pressure. It was like he himself was a sword cutting through the resistance. What a powerful sword intent. It has already condensed into a solid state. Praised Yu Zifeng as he looked at that figure. There's no need to be envious. He's not your target. Long Chen patted Yu Zifeng on the shoulder. Yu Zifeng nodded. He understood what Long Chen meant. Since he followed Long Chen, then any powerful opponents were only there for him to surpass. While he had been shaken by Yu Qianshan's power just now, he immediately returned to his calm and confident state. Xiao Wuji has also gotten through. Xu Guan's he as well. Oh, Zhang Wuyan refuses to fall behind. They truly are worthy of being the four heavenly geniuses. Some disciples couldn't help praising them, as they were filled with worship. The ordinary disciples hadn't even advanced 3,000 miles into the white region, but the heavenly geniuses had already charged into the blue region. That was a show of their power. Long Chen, how about you go as well? I can lead the others, said Tang Wan'er. She knew that if Long Chen were to charge forward as well, he definitely wouldn't be any lacking compared to them. It was just that he was looking after the others. What's the point of competing with a bunch of children? Let's just slowly continue forward. I've long since surpassed the age of wanting to show off like that. Long Chen shook his head. If you put it like that, you'll seem just like those old fossils up there. Laughed Tang Wan'er. Foolish girl. They can hear everything that's happening here. Don't you see the formation around them? That's to observe us. Warned Long Chen. There was no way that anything happening here could escape their eyes. But it was already too late. 
Long Chen saw that the family head's expressions grew ugly. The vice sect master's expression became a bit odd as well, while Xu Wuhan had an expression between laughter and tears. Tang Wan'er stuck out her tongue and nervously asked, What should I do? It's fine. Saying that I'm like those old fossils is praising them. They should feel happy about it, not offended. I'm sure big figures like them are very magnanimous, or they would have wasted all their years. Let's keep going. Long Chen didn't particularly care. In any case, the Visek master at least appeared slightly younger than the family heads. It was fine as long as they didn't offend him. Chapter 710 The Mysterious Thai Translator Born to be Monastery Head Shu, your disciples really are courteous. You really brought them up well. Zhao Xianai turned to look at Shu Wuhan. With the formation here, everything happening within the Zhuanshan Sea was being broadcast in front of them. They could clearly see and hear everything. This way they could get a clear read of every disciple's true potential. So Tang Wan'er's words were heard by all of them, and many of them felt displeased. Most of these people were extremely old, but most of them didn't say anything. When it came to being old, the four at the front took the prize. Even the Visek master only appeared to be in his fifties or sixties. In truth, they could sacrifice some of their longevity to make themselves appear more youthful, but none of them were willing. As for the Visek master, he could make himself appear younger just by circulating his energy, but he didn't do so because then it would make him seem like he had no experience, as if he was just a junior. The Visek master was a foundation forging expert. He made it so he appeared to be in his fifties. If it weren't for his white hair, Others might even think he was only in his forties. So although they were all old, they hadn't reached the level of being fossils. The only ones that could receive that resounding title were the four family heads. Only they had those qualifications. That was why it was the four family heads that were offended. Xu Yankong couldn't say anything since this disciple was technically on his side. While the Wang and Ku family heads didn't say anything, as quibbling with a junior was a loss of status. However, Zhao Xianai wouldn't give up any chance to target the Shu family, so he immediately made it difficult on them, saying that Long Chen had no upbringing, which insinuated the Shu family hadn't raised him properly. Shu Yankong was caught in a difficult position. Although he was dissatisfied with Shu Wuhan, this wasn't targeting her, but the entire Shu family. He decided to open his mouth and say, an old person should act like a senior. If a senior quibbled with a child over a slip of the tongue, it would be unworthy of their age. His words were even more vicious, directly saying that Zhao Xianai was acting like a child. Zhao Xianai's expression sank. This slap had been a bit too much, and he was clearly just twisting words. Suddenly, the Visek master interrupted. Everyone here is old. Don't argue about such senseless questions. The world is constantly changing and the era is constantly advancing. People grow old. This is the law of all things. The cycle of the heavenly deos is something no one can resist. This world will always be the world of the young. Don't use our standards for ourselves to judge the world of youngsters. The only thing we have to give to our disciples is an environment, to make it as convenient for them as possible. As for how they choose to grow, we don't need to interfere. According to my experience, if we try to raise them into our ideal disciples, then their accomplishments will never surpass ours. A blood condensation master will only be able to raise a blood condensation disciple. It will be impossible to raise a king. So giving youngsters some space and giving them room to make their own decisions is the only way for them to grow to their peak. The nonsense your four families do when you're bored is something I can't be bothered to deal with. But don't let that nonsense affect our Zuanshan Deo sect's development. Otherwise, don't blame me for being merciless. I can always report to the head sect that certain families should be abolished. We've all coexisted for so many years. I don't want us to reach a point of either you die or I die. You can fight amongst yourselves, but don't go too far. Everyone's hearts shook. The Visek master rarely spoke, but now he had suddenly said so much. Furthermore, it was such a severe warning. That was very rare. We understand. The four family heads hastily bowed. The Visek master nodded. This time, our branch sect has given rise to four heavenly geniuses and even an unexpected fellow like Long Chen has joined in. This is our branch sect's most flourishing period in the last few millennia. Perhaps our branch sect will finally be able to shine during the immemorial pathway, increasing the prestige of our Zhuanshan Deo sect. Even the sect master views the immemorial pathway as extremely important. So this is me warning you not to go overboard. It would be best for us not to stick our hands in a struggle between children. If you really feel like you can't hold back, 
bind your hand to your leg, or don't blame me for the consequences, the sect master, everyone let out a startled cry, the sect master had always been a mysterious existence, even the four family heads had never seen the sect master, it was unexpected that the sect master would be paying attention to the trial this time, they knew the vice sect master wasn't trying to scare them, the sect master had to have intentionally told him to say this, if someone dared to cause trouble now, they really would be asking to die, there's no need to encourage the struggle between the youngsters, but there's also no need to intentionally resolve it, each person has their own fate, so let them do as they please, said the vice sect master, understood, everyone hastily responded, they all understood that for him to give such a solemn warning, this matter was probably bigger than they had imagined, but why, was the sect master personally watching, during this exchange of words, Long Chen had been leading everyone from the 36th Super Monastery into the Zhuangshan Sea. Although they didn't travel quickly, they kept their speed constant. They never took a break, so they still advanced rapidly. They arrived right before the Blue Zone in just two hours. The pressure was even greater here, and some of the ordinary disciples turned pale, almost unable to endure it. But the Dragonblood Warriors' expressions didn't change. This pressure couldn't count as anything. They had endured far worse during their terrifying heavenly tribulation. However, the other disciples from their super monastery were unable to endure it. They were just ordinary disciples. And originally, they shouldn't have been able to advance this far so quickly. It was only because Long Chen was at the very front. A portion of the pressure was blocked by him. And then behind him were the Dragonblood warriors who blocked another portion of the pressure. That was the only reason why they managed to reach this point. Currently. The ordinary Xianchen disciples were still near the edge of the Zhuangshan Sea and slowly advancing. That was because each super monastery's expert had long since rushed off, using their greatest speed to reach their limit. Who would waste their time helping others? The only super monastery that was advancing as a group was the 36th super monastery. That flabbergasted quite a few people, but it also made them feel admiration for Long Chen. News that Long Chen and Xiao Wuji had exchanged blows without either side taking the advantage had already spread. Everyone in the Zhuangshan Dao sect knew Long Chen's name now. Many people thought that even if he wasn't on the same level as the four heavenly geniuses, he should at least have some ability to fight them. That was already very amazing. Most importantly, Long Chen was not even a celestial. Now seeing Long Chen actually looking after others while the other super monasteries experts rushed off on their own, it was deeply moving. At the same time, many people felt envious of the 36th Super Monastery's disciples. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, we can't endure it any longer. You should continue onwards with the others. Don't bother with us, said one of the ordinary disciples. Long Chen looked back at that person. Don't be so pessimistic. This is not your limit. If you want to become an expert, you have to force yourself to your breaking point. The benefits here surpass your imagination. And if you miss this opportunity, you'll never get it again, you're all people who have drunk and eaten at the same table as me, so don't embarrass me, keep quiet and follow closely, these people were extremely moved, Long Chen didn't have much of a relationship with them, but to look after them, he had actually given up his chance to compete with the heavenly geniuses, Long Chen was the first to enter the blue zone, as soon as he entered, he felt the tide strength multiply by 10 times, following him, the other dragonblood warriors also entered, their bodies trembled, but they quickly adapted, that startled the four families experts, currently, the only ones that had managed to enter the blue zone were celestials, there had yet to be ordinary disciples who had entered, even celestials would feel quite a bit of pressure, but the dragonblood warriors adapted so quickly, monastery head Shu, you've really hidden your blade well, oh, the vice sect master suddenly turned to look at Shu Wuhan, his slight shock became disbelief, Vice Sect Master overpraises me. Shu Wuhan smiled. From Shu Wuhan's smile, the Vice Sect Master seemed to understand something. He nodded and continued watching. The others were confused by this. What was the meaning behind this strange exchange? But the Vice Sect Master didn't say more, and Shu Wuhan didn't even look at them. They could only mull over this question inside. The 36th Super Monastery's ordinary disciples immediately vomited blood upon entering the Blue Zone. They felt like their bodies were being torn apart. Don't be afraid. Once you endure this first wave, you'll be able to cultivate here. Long Chen paused and had the Dragonblood Warriors spread out in order to help these people block the pressure. This pressure was coming from the center of the sea, so they were able to block quite a bit of it. An incense sticks worth of time later, 
these people finally managed to endure it on their own. The hardest part about entering the blue zone was enduring the first wave. As soon as you entered, the power multiplied, and if you weren't able to bear it, you would be sent flying. If you were careless, then you would follow the tide all the way to the shore and have to start all over. Although these people were now pale and somewhat tottering, they were able to keep themselves stable in this place. They wouldn't be blown back. This place is your current limit. Cultivate here. Brothers, let's keep going. Long Chen waved his hand to the Dragonblood Warriors and rushed forward. Chapter 711 Red Zone Translator Born to be Tang Wan'er closely followed Long Chen while holding Men Qi's hand. As a soul cultivator, Men Qi's constitution was extremely weak. But Tang Wan'er was like a fish in water here, and she helped Men Qi block most of the pressure. Seeing Long Chen rush forward, the Dragonblood Warriors also quickened their steps. With Long Chen as the tip, they were like a huge arrow shooting through the sea. The 36th Super Monastery's disciples all jumped in shock upon seeing this speed. To them, this powerful current might blow them away as soon as they were the slightest bit careless. But Long Chen and the others went against the tide as quick as lightning, as if they didn't feel any pressure at all. Even the distant experts were shocked. The fact that Long Chen could go against the tide like this wasn't surprising. After all, they knew he was powerful enough to fight against Xiao Wuji. But other than Men Qi and Tang Wan'er, the others were just ordinary Xi'anchen disciples. How could they also be strong enough to resist such a powerful pressure? This pressure was not just physical pressure. It was a comprehensive pressure composed of multiple facets. It included a pressure to their wills and also a kind of law. That was why they were so shocked. It seems Monastery Head Shu truly spared no effort to nurture her disciples. You've created such a powerful group, said Cao Xi'anai. He was irritated. His Cao family had paid such a huge amount of resources to her. Now seeing the Dragonblood Warriors display, he immediately connected it to that compensation he had paid. Xu Wuhan smiled indifferently. It's all thanks to family heads how. If it weren't for your selfless support, they probably wouldn't be able to advance so quickly. She sneered inside. How did this old fox become so stupid now? Hadn't he just stuck out his face to be slapped? Haha, <laughs> that's fine. Any super monastery's disciple should get resources. It's just that I've heard that these people have called themselves the Dragonblood Legion and only listen to Long Chen. After enjoying everything the Zhuanchen Dao sect has given them, they actually want to form a private group and separate from the sect? Don't you think that's going a bit too far? Zhao Xianai laughed, extremely pleased. Xu Wuhan's expression changed. Old foxes truly were wily. All of their words contained traps. He had intentionally brought up this matter in front of the Vice Sect Master. According to reason, the Zhuanchen Dao Sect's disciples all had to listen to the sect's orders. It was not permitted to create private powers. Now Xu Wuhan had no reply. But it was Vice Sect Master who suddenly said, I've previously said that the matters of the junior generation are things us old fellows shouldn't interfere in. Zhao Xianai, has your memory degenerated from old age? His expression was somewhat dark and his tone was extremely discourteous. Zhao Xianai was immediately stuck in a hard position, unable to reply. Private groups? Your Shu, Zhao, Hu, and Wang families all control nine super monasteries. Don't those count as private groups? Should I tell the sect master that you want me to disband your four families? The vice sect master's voice was icy. I, Zhao Xianai was dumbfounded. How was the vice sect master so rude to him today? This was clearly a slap in the face. I've never said anything about your four families' open and hidden fights. Because of that, did you really think I'm an idiot and didn't see any of it? Struggle is an important aspect of a sect's development. Of course, it's impossible to guarantee that all struggles will have a positive effect. So as long as your little fights didn't affect the Zhuanchen Dao sect's development, no one was bored enough to say anything to you. But Cao Xianai, I'm sure you're the most aware of what you've done. Although that matter has passed, it doesn't mean it didn't happen. If you dare to try something like that again, I guarantee I will be the first to bring my blade down on your Zhao family. Understood. The vice sect master's final words caused Zhao Xianai to tremble. He and the other family heads were shocked. They had always thought that their fights had remained hidden from the higher ups. However, it wasn't that they didn't know. In fact, they were probably even clearer about what was going on than them. The truth was that they simply couldn't be bothered with them. But if they really ended up causing damage to the Zhuanchen Dao sect, then the merciless butcher's knife would immediately fall. Xu Wuhan hadn't expected that the Vice Sect Master would defend her so much today. 
She couldn't help sighing inside. If people wanted the authority to speak, then they truly did need power. She knew that the Visect Master was looking after her because he had sensed the change in her. After all, he was a foundation forging expert. This was the importance of power. Compared to someone in charge of nine super monasteries, a foundation forging expert was even more important. An administrator could be replaced with any somewhat powerful family, but a foundation forging expert was too hard to come by. It was laughable how these people spent all day scheming against each other. Even when they were sleeping, they were pondering the best way to suppress their opponents. They had forgotten their status. A martial cultivator had to focus on getting stronger. In front of absolute strength, any schemes were useless. How fast? Long Chen's about to reach the red zone, said one of the Shu family's monastery heads. Everyone looked over. While they had been talking, Long Chen had already led his people to the border of the red zone. By now, there were quite a few outstanding disciples who had managed to enter the blue zone. But currently, only Celestials had managed to enter the red zone. No matter how outstanding the disciple, no matter how great their talent, no matter how high their cultivation base, all the non-celestials were stuck outside the red zone. Some unconvinced people had tried charging in, but as a result, they had been sent flying by the terrifying tide. They had been like shooting stars and directly blown to the furthest edge of the sea. They hadn't even been able to stop midway, and had been injured. Even in the blue zone, the tide grew stronger as you advanced. At the border of the red zone, the pressure of the tide was tens of times greater than where they had entered the blue zone. Even the powerful dragonblood warriors were somewhat unable to endure it. They felt like their bones were about to be crushed. Stay here. I'll test it. Long Chen took the final step into the red zone. As soon as he did, a terrifying pressure caused his foot to sink. He felt like he was pressing into a spring, and that spring was about to shoot him back. Furthermore, a powerful force descended from above. It was like a mountain had smashed into him. HMPH. Long Chen snorted and his spiritual yuan circulated, resisting these two different forces. He immediately felt much more relaxed. These forces were too strange. Most likely, the people who had tried barging in hadn't even understood what was happening before being blown back. Only celestials could rely on the energy of their heavenly Dao runes to resist the first impact. Long Chen looked forward and saw 27 celestials. They were only a few miles ahead. They had long since entered the deeper part of the red zone where the pressure had grown to a terrifying point. However, they found out that the greater the pressure, the greater the benefits would be. Whether it was the tempering of their physical bodies, the comprehension of their elemental attributes, or the increase in their realms, the effect would multiply. So everyone was doing their best to charge as deep into the sea as possible. At the front of these celestials, Long Chen saw four figures. Those were the so-called four heavenly geniuses. Currently, they had already reached the border of the core violet zone where a huge whirlpool could be seen. The four of them had all paused at the border. Most likely, they felt the pressure was too great, and it would be too difficult to enter without adjusting themselves first. Long Chen returned to the blue zone. He said, when you enter the red zone, you will encounter two different kinds of forces. The pressure will multiply by around 15 to 17 times. The dragonblood warrior's expressions all changed. They already felt that the pressure here was their limit. If it immediately increased by over 10 times, wouldn't they be crushed flat noveloon.com Don't worry, you won't die. But once you enter, you'll probably be sent into a half-dead state. However, it'll all be worth it. The bitterness you suffer now is so you can survive on the battlefields in the future. It's so you can protect the things in your heart. I could directly pull you in with my power, but I won't do that. You'll have to enter on your own. This isn't just a competition of force, but a competition against your own will. I could help you once, but I won't be able to help you for a lifetime. You'll have to rely on yourselves. So brothers, think about your motivation. On the battlefield, if you see your brothers die to the enemy's merciless blades, will you feel regret? Regret that you weren't strong enough? If you would, then don't hesitate now. Grab hold of this chance to carve out all your potential and advance into the red zone, said Long Chen. The dragonblood warriors looked at each other. A heaven-shaking battle intent soared out of them. They were people who had slaughtered out a path of blood with Long Chen. In the first righteous and corrupt battle they had experienced, many of those brothers that had eaten, drunk, and laughed with them had fallen one by one. Some had died right beside them while they had been powerless to save them. When they thought back about it now, it felt like it had only happened yesterday. 
So just a few words from Long Chen immediately brought out all their thirst. They thirsted for power. Only with power could they protect the things most important to them. Gu Yang was the first to charge into the red zone. He had only just entered when he let out a furious roar and his ancestral mark lit upon his forehead. His fierce aura erupted. He wasn't blown back. The distant spectators all let out a startled cry. Chapter 712 The Core Storm Zone Translator Born to be when Gu Yang entered the red zone, his entire body shuddered as if he were on the verge of collapse, but he still managed to bear it in the end. This startled the spectators. Previously, quite a few experts had tried charging into the red zone, but anyone who was not a celestial had been blown back, and many had even suffered heavy injuries. It had to be known that those who had dared to attempt entering the red zone were amongst the strongest Xi'anxian disciples here. Although they might not compare to celestials, they were outstanding elites. Even they had failed, which had caused many people to give up. They all formed an assumption that only celestials could enter the red zone. But Gu Yang had used his actions to prove them wrong. Following Gu Yang, Yu Zifan also entered. His aura seemed like an unsheathed sword that stabbed into the tide. He actually seemed even more relaxed than Gu Yang. A sword cultivator? Not bad. The Visect Master nodded with praise. He saw that Yu Zifeng had reached a profound comprehension of the sword Dao. Following the two of them, Li Qi also entered, but he had only just entered when he coughed up blood. The two different forces were extremely difficult to deal with. One pushed you back, while the other pushed you down. He felt like his body was being twisted, and he suffered an injury. But although he appeared extremely miserable, after tottering several times, he still managed to endure it. He wasn't forced out. The last one was Song Mingguan. Song Mingguan's cultivation base was around the same as Li Qi. He also coughed up blood, and he just narrowly managed to endure it. Once the four of them entered, everyone's gazes fell on Guo Ran. Guo Ran immediately felt a chill. His physical body wasn't strong. It wasn't even on the same level as an ordinary dragon blood warrior. This could be fatal to him. Boss, don't spout nonsense. Hurry up. The worst case is you'll fly out and come back, said Long Chen impatiently. This little fellow always liked to act slippery, but now wasn't the time. Fine, I'm going, boss. Guo Ran looked at Long Chen tenderheartedly. That scene gave Men Qi and Tang Wan or goosebumps. Go in peace, sighed Long Chen with a mournful expression. I'm not dying. Why are you jinxing me? If you stall any longer, I'll kick you inside. Hurry up. Guo Ran took a deep breath, clenching his teeth. He took a few steps and then fiercely jumped into the red zone. The spectators let out startled cries. Was he an idiot? If a person's feet left the ground, how would they be able to stabilize themselves? Wouldn't he be immediately blown out? Guo Ran immediately vomited three mouthfuls of blood, but he actually managed to stay in the red zone. He wasn't blown back. Everyone was dumbfounded. This didn't make any sense. Even the four families' experts were stunned. But when they looked at Guo Ran's feet, they came to a sudden comprehension. At some point, Guo Ran had put on large metallic boots. He had relied on the weight of the boots to keep himself steady. Of course, these people were unaware that these were part of his armor. Furthermore, it wasn't just their weight that was shocking. There were hidden mechanisms at the bottom of the boots to keep him stuck to the ground. Otherwise, just the weight of the boots wouldn't be able to keep him standing here. All right, we'll line up to block the pressure a bit. Gu Yang and the other four lined up so that it would be a bit easier for the others. This red zone was too terrifying. Even Gu Yang and the others were at their limit. Perhaps only a few others would be able to endure it if no one helped them. Now, the five of them were not only helping the Dragon Blood Warriors share their burden, they were also encouraging them, as well as telling them that they weren't fighting alone. They had everyone to help them. One Dragon Blood Warrior tried to enter the red zone. He immediately vomited blood, but with a furious roar, he erupted with his full strength, fighting against the pressure. He tottered back and forth, but in the end, with a supreme effort, he managed to endure it. The strongest impact was when you entered a new zone. Once you managed to endure it, you would rapidly adapt. Seeing him succeed, the others were filled with confidence, and they tried it, but not every person succeeded. Some were blown back. Long Chen had long since been prepared and he immediately caught them. He had them rest before trying again. With Long Chen present, they didn't need to worry about being blown back to the outer zone. Without that worry, they could go all out in their attempt to enter the red zone. This was a very miserable trial. Each person who tried to enter the red zone paid a heavy price. They would definitely vomit blood. And in the struggle, some people's legs even broke directly. 
Later, they relied on crawling with their arms to advance. The tenacious will they displayed shook all the experts watching. They were absolutely ruthless to themselves. Without going through pain and suffering, one cannot achieve success. This doesn't just apply to ordinary mortals, but also cultivators. Although the effort you put in isn't always directly proportional to your gains, if two people were of the same talent and luck, the one who puts in the most effort will obtain the most. In order to increase your odds by just a bit, you have to put in ten times the effort of others. This is what it means to have resolve, said the Visect Master. The four families' experts all nodded. The majority of them were on the level of monastery heads and had high statuses, but they had rarely seen disciples as determined as the Dragonblood Warriors. Each one of these 300 people had such perseverance and refused to accept death a one of the Dragonblood Warriors had even failed 17 times. It was unknown how many times his bones broke. Blood had dyed his body, but he refused to accept help. On his 18th try, relying on his own strength, he managed to succeed. As a result, after six hours, all the Dragonblood Warriors managed to enter the Red Zone. Although it was just the edge, the other disciples all felt a profound veneration for them. If their positions were switched, they wouldn't have had that kind of perseverance. And even if they did, they wouldn't have this kind of resolve. This was a conviction, conviction that they would definitely succeed. This conviction was in themselves. Although they suffered failure after failure, they still believed in themselves. They believed that they could definitely charge through. This kind of belief was especially important to a martial cultivator. What a lesson, sighed one of the monastery heads. Compared to the Dragonblood warriors, they found that their own disciples were lacking that kind of will and resolve. In comparison, their disciples were like greenhouse flowers, Shu Wuhan said. From the 108th monastery, starting with the righteous and corrupt battle, they slaughtered out their own path with Long Chen. They have crawled out from mountains of corpses and seas of blood. Each one of them is hot-blooded. When they were framed and their sect leader was captured, Long Chen charged into the first monastery on his own. At that time, these people were nothing more than rookies. Despite knowing their enemies were strong, so strong that even their sect leader couldn't resist, they were still willing to follow Long Chen into death. The feelings between them can withstand any trials. As long as Long Chen ordered it, they would follow him to their deaths. In the same way, if any of them were in danger, Long Chen would sacrifice his own life to save them. Although they are young, they understand the true meaning of cultivation. Hearing Shu Wuhan's words, everyone was deeply moved. They recalled how their blood used to burn with passion when they were young. But at some unknown point, that hot blood and their fearlessness had faded. All day, all they did was scheme against each other. They were lost in thought. Only Zhao Xianai's expression was ugly. To him, Shu Wuhan's words were antagonistic. Because the matter from back then had been related to his Zhao family. It was a result of the battle between the Zhao and Shu families. But her words made it seem like all the fault lay with the Zhao family when it had clearly been a competition between the two. How could she set up the Zhao family as the villain? But he couldn't say anything. After all, she hadn't directly accused his Zhao family. So he couldn't explain. Because then the Visect Master's impression of the Zhao family would worsen further. Zhao Wuji has entered the core zone exclaimed a monastery head suddenly. Everyone hastily turned to see Zhao Wuji surrounded by runes. He had charged into the violet storm zone. When he entered, he crouched slightly, his legs trembling. It was obvious he was enduring a terrifying pressure right now. That child Wuji truly has grown up. It's been many generations of this trial since our super monasteries have given rise to a disciple who could enter the storm zone. Zhao Xianai could not conceal his pride. Shu Guan's he is also moving. Oh, all of them are. It wasn't just Shu Guanxi. Yu Kianchen and Song Wuian had also entered the storm zone. Shu Guanxi's body was releasing waves of runes. Yu Kianchen seemed to be enveloped by a huge sword image, and a blood red mark had appeared on Song Wuian's forehead, one that released a power that disrupted the flow of the violet storm zone. Seeing those four fighting against the storm zone, the Visect Master smiled with gratification. Then his gaze turned to the Dragonblood Legion. They were currently standing on the edge of the red zone, calmly cultivating. This was their current limit. Suddenly, over ten new figures appeared in the red zone. These were ordinary disciples who had been influenced by the Dragonblood Warriors and charged in, using their own resolve as proof of their existence. As for Long Chen, he was currently moving deeper into the red zone with Men Qi and Tang Wanur. Long Chen, you should continue on your own. Men Qi has already reached her limit. I'll accompany her here, said Tang Wanur. 
Meng Qi couldn't advance any further, while Tang Wan'er had to look after her. Without Tang Wan'er, Meng Qi wouldn't have even been able to enter the red zone. Beast tamers were just too physically weak. All right, Long Chen nodded, leaving them in the middle of the red zone. He rushed off to the storm zone. Light was racing across Long Chen's arms as Huo Long and Lai Long were already about to rush off without him. Chapter 713 Don't Regret It Translator Born to be everyone's attention was drawn to Long Chen. That was especially true of the Celestials who were also in the red zone. It doesn't seem like he finds it difficult at all. Is he really planning on entering the storm zone? Up to now, only the four heavenly geniuses had entered the storm zone. But it seemed Long Chen really was planning on joining them. Long Chen quickly bypassed Celestial after Celestial. Seeing him walk past them, they were shocked. What kind of monster was he? Does he really have the same level of strength as the four heavenly geniuses? This was the question on everyone's mind. Those four were unrevealed second rank celestials. While Long Chen wasn't even a celestial. In truth, Long Chen also felt a great deal of pressure. When he got close to the storm zone, he was forced to slow down. Because the pressure here was too great. He was less than a mile from the storm zone. But this mile was too terrifying. The pressure would double every 30 meters. Even Long Chen felt like his blood was churning within him, but he also felt the tide constantly strengthening his physical body. However, this strengthening was too slow. Perhaps the other Celestials felt that their physical bodies were rapidly advancing, but Long Chen's body had already reached a terrifying level. He didn't particularly care about this level of strengthening. He had the 9-star hegemon body art. As long as he condensed the 4th star, his physical strength would immediately multiply. How could he care about this little bit? His target was the storm zone. That was where the purest energy of the Zhuanshan Sea was located. He knew this for sure because Huo Long and Lai Long were both expressing their desires to him loudly and repeatedly. There was something in the storm zone that they wanted. Huo Long was especially agitated. It seemed like a monster that had been starving for tens of thousands of years and was now seeing meat before it. It practically went crazy. As Long Chen advanced, the current began to rumble. The storm zone was right in front of him. Long Chen felt extremely uncomfortable with the intense pressure here. Taking a deep breath, his spiritual yuan began to surge. His aura erupted to fight against the current. If he still didn't do this, then just his physical body would be unable to endure it. At this moment, everyone's gazes were on him. They wanted to see whether he truly had the ability to challenge the storm zone. Long Chen had stopped. He was adjusting his aura. Previously. The four heavenly geniuses had also adjusted themselves for an incense stick's worth of time. Xu Wuhan was nervous. Long Chen had always been her greatest pride, but even she didn't know how powerful he really was. The fact that he wanted to compete with the four heavenly geniuses made her worry. If he failed, she would become a laughing stock. Boom. Suddenly, the Zhuanshan Sea shook slightly. Long Chen had merely paused for a few breaths before taking a step into the storm zone. He's crazy. The spectators were appalled. Even the four heavenly geniuses had had to summon their manifestations to enter the storm zone. But Long Chen was merely circulating his spiritual yuan. That was the simplest, most ordinary defense possible. In front of the storm zone, he would immediately be blown back. The violet storm zone was like a hurricane. Loud rumbling filled Long Chen's ears. Long Chen's body suddenly trembled, and it felt like he had been smashed by countless hammers. His blood churned, and he vomited a mouthful of blood. Long Chen was surprised to see that his shoulder had dislocated because of the tearing force here. This storm seemed like wind but also not like wind. It seemed like water but was not water. It contained every single kind of energy found within heaven and earth. But Long Chen found that all those various energies contained a berserk, destructive force along with a powerful nourishing force. When he recovered from his injuries, he sensed that the energy here was of great assistance and it saved him a great deal of life energy from the primal chaos space when he healed. How mysterious. Long Chen sighed inside. The Zhuanshan Sea was absolutely inexplicable. While Long Chen was surprised, the outside world had practically gone crazy. Long Chen had actually charged his way through. Although he was a bit miserable at the start and had suffered an injury, he had completely adapted in just a few breaths. That was too monstrous. Xu Wuhan finally relaxed. At the same time, she was also shocked. What a powerful physical body. The Visect Master couldn't help being moved. It was his first time seeing such a physical body. He was a foundation forging expert. And he could tell that Long Chen wasn't relying on any technique. 
His physical body was not backed by something like Xiao Wuji's earth energy. The four family heads were also shocked. They had heard Long Chen was a monster and powerful, but they hadn't really taken it to heart. No matter how strong he was, how could he compare to a rank 2 celestial? But now, he had forced his way into the storm zone. That was especially shocking to Cao Xi'an Ai and Chu Yunkong. The former regretted not caring enough about him before. Such a person had to either be drawn to their side or stealthily killed. Now, the Shu family had two peerless geniuses. The situation was not good for his Cao family. As for Xu Yunkong, he also regretted not listening when Xu Wuhan told him Long Chen was a peerless genius and should be given the same treatment as Xu Guanzi. Instead of listening, he had treated him as a game piece to use against the Cao family. Now that Long Chen had displayed such power, he didn't know what to do. Furthermore, Xu Yunkong suddenly thought of a certain something, and his expression twitched. But there was nothing he could do now. Long Chen stood in the storm zone for a full incense stick's worth of time before gradually coming to an understanding of the rules here. Then he began to slowly advance. The pressure here was so immense. Even steel would be instantly crushed. Long Chen could only advance step by step. He quickly saw four figures in front of him. The four of them were in a row and maintaining a distance of around a mile from each other as they slowly advanced toward the center. Long Chen was right in the middle of the four. Xiao Wuji was the one furthest to the left while the one furthest to the right was carrying a sword on his back. Because it was his back facing him, Long Chen couldn't see his face, but he knew it had to be the sword cultivator, Yu Kai Anshin. Of the two in the middle, the light figure was most definitely Song Wuian, while the other had long hair that fell loosely on his back. He had to be the Shu family's genius, Shu Guanzi. Long Chen frowned slightly. His position was rather awkward, but if he were to detour around them with this snail-like pace, it would waste too much time. Furthermore, he wanted to charge to the very center of the sea. So he had to pass by two of them. The two most suited for him to pass were Song Wuian and Shu Guanzi. There was a mile between them, which was enough to safely pass through. The four of them had also noticed Long Chen, and they were extremely shocked. The most shocking fact was that after entering the storm zone, he had reached their current position even faster than them. In less than a few hours, Long Chen was less than half a mile away. He would quickly be standing shoulder to shoulder with them. Now that he got closer, he saw their faces. Everything about Yu Kai Anshin was sword-like. His eyebrows were sword-like, and his gaze seemed like two sharp blades. That gaze contained the specific arrogance of a sword cultivator. On the other hand, Shu Guan's he was more handsome, but he was a bit too handsome, making him appear almost feminine. Long Chen disliked his appearance a great deal. He quickly realized the reason. He looked a bit similar to Marquis Ying. Just at this moment, Xu Guanzi he turned toward Long Chen and shook his head. Scram. You don't have the qualifications to be here. Alarm bell suddenly rang in Long Chen's heart. But it was too late. An invisible fluctuation struck him. Within the current, it was practically impossible to sense a transparent fist. By the time Long Chen noticed it, he had been struck. He felt like a huge hammer had smashed into him. He pierced straight through the red, blue, and white zones like a shooting star. When he crashed into the edge of the basin, the entire land trembled slightly. Shu Wuhan shot up, her expression dark. Did you set this up? How brazen Shu Wuhan. Don't be so rude to the family head. Another expert from the Shu family immediately retorted. Shu Yunkong glanced at Shu Wuhan. The matters of youngsters should be resolved by the youngsters. As the monastery head, do you not even possess that resolve? Xu Wuhan trembled from rage. She knew that Xu Yunkong had set this up in order to punish her for going against the family. He was trying to force her to lower her head. Good. Ha ha ha. Good. These are your own words. Don't regret it. Xu Wuhan sat back down. Long Chen miserably crawled up. He wiped away the blood from his mouth, and a smile appeared on his face. That smile was chilling to the bone. Chapter 714 Resounding Face Slap Translator Born to be seeing that Long Chen had been plotted against. The dragon blood warriors were enraged. They all took out their weapons, about to charge their way into the storm zone. Don't cause trouble, shouted Gu Yang. It's already hard enough for us to be here. You won't even advance a few miles before being blown back. As for the storm zone, you won't be able to enter. Acting like this is just inviting humiliation. Then what are we supposed to do? Raged a dragon blood warrior. You guys, really? As your cultivation bases grew, it seems your brains have become dumber. Do you think boss is someone who will suffer without retaliating? Just obediently cultivate and wait to watch the show. Remember, 
boss is unrevealed, said Guo Ran. Long Chen had already charged back into the white zone. What shocked everyone was that he was practically a bolt of lightning. Heavens, that's way too fast. The disciples in the trial watched as Long Chen sped by. This speed was even greater than the four heavenly geniuses when they had charged forward. He was out of the white zone in just a few breaths. Even in the blue zone, his speed didn't decrease. He directly pierced through to the red zone. Upon reaching there, Long Chen let out a furious roar, and his aura erupted. Space trembled, but Long Chen's speed still didn't decrease. He was like a flying arrow, and he even became faster. Boom. Long Chen used the most direct, most barbaric method to barge right into the storm zone. This was too ruthless. He didn't even give himself time to breathe or adjust. The spectators were dumbfounded. Of course, this included Xu Yankong. He had a bad premonition. The four families' experts could all tell that Long Chen's current mood wasn't good. Since Xu Guan's he had plotted against him, it seemed he wasn't willing to be struck without striking him back. Only Xu Wuhan's expression was calm. She knew Long Chen was completely infuriated. With his previous experience, Long Chen merely trembled slightly upon entering the storm zone. He took half a step back. This half step was truly excellent. Originally, when you entered a new zone, there would be a powerful impact force. But now, the impact striking him had dropped 30 to 40 percent, so he wasn't injured. Then with a cold snort, he began moving toward Xu Guanzi. Although his speed wasn't fast anymore, in less than two hours, he was less than a mile from him. Xu Guanzi once more turned back with a disdainful expression. This isn't a place you can stay, but since you are so obstinate, I can only help you scram again. A large fist suddenly condensed in the air and shot toward Long Chen. This time, Long Chen managed to see it. Xu Guanzi he was truly a sinister person. He might have turned his head back, but he didn't turn the rest of his body. He had actually been forming hand seals in front of him to secretly set up an attack. That was how Long Chen had been struck last time. Furthermore, Long Chen was at a disadvantage. With the tide's power behind him, Xu Guanzi's attack was much stronger. His power was increased by the current, while Long Chen was forcing his way through the current. Of course he would be the one to suffer. Suddenly, a saber appeared in Long Chen's hands. That was an enchanted item he had obtained from someone else's hands. His blood drinker was still crazily absorbing the phoenix blood black gold's energy to heal itself. Long Chen didn't want to disturb it. Saber Ki soared into the sky. With a slash of his saber, the fist was cleanly cut in half. Furthermore, the leftover power continued toward Xu Guanzi. Xu Guanzi hadn't expected Long Chen to be so strong. His hand seal suddenly changed, and a curtain of water appeared in the air. Long Chen's saber image landed on the curtain of water. The water curtain trembled a few times, but it still completely dispelled Long Chen's attack. Fuck off. Suddenly, a cold shout rang out. Long Chen had already crossed the mile that had separated them. Holding his saber with both hands, he mercilessly slashed it down. Long Chen's previous attack hadn't just split apart Xu Guanzi's attack, but it had also cut a channel in front of him, one that greatly reduced the pressure of the current. He had taken advantage of that to charge right up to Xu Guanzi. This time, his attack was even stronger. His saber caused a spatial tearing sound that caused Xu Guanzi's expression to change. Skywater Shield Xu Guanzi hastily formed a hand seal, and runic energy formed a three-meter-wide shield in front of him. This shield was condensed from countless water element runes. It appeared as if it was made of water. Boom. Powerful key waves erupted. Zhang Wuyan and Yu Kianchen frowned. They were affected by the shock waves. The two of them slowly moved further away. Although they weren't afraid, that didn't mean they would stupidly waste such a good cultivation opportunity. As for Xiao Wuji, he sneered. This was the best possible show for him. He represented the Zhao family, while Xu Guanzi represented the Xu family. The two families were like fire and water. He had exchanged blows with Xu Guanzi many times, but it had always ended up in a draw. Xu Guanzi's water element cultivation technique was too abnormal, and it restricted him. He was an earth element expert. Xu Guanzi's water technique might not specialize in offense, but it was unrevealed when it came to softness and flexibility. Each time Xiao Wuji's fists tried to hit him, it would be like hitting cotton. The feeling of his fists landing on nothing was so irritating that it almost made him puke. Xu Guanzi rarely fought head-on with others. He used his endless water magical arts to exhaust his opponents to death. So Xiao Wuji hated fighting him the most. Long Chen's saber landed on Xu Guanzi's water shield. He found that this water shield was constantly rippling. 
Each time it rippled, it erased part of his power. It was extremely strange. The two of them were deadlocked for a moment. Shu Guan's he sneered. You're just a country bumpkin and have no qualifications to be here. You should leave while you still can. Stay in the red zone. Shu Guan's he had long since heard of Long Chen, but he had never taken him seriously. He considered him nothing more than a slightly strong bumpkin who had come from the mountains. He and the other ranked two celestials had all been found to have an innate Dao mark by the time they were five years old. They were innate ranked two celestials. There were two kinds of ranked two celestials. One kind had advanced from the first rank, but that was extremely difficult. For example, Yin Wusheng had been a powerful figure amongst rank one celestials. If he could have perfectly merged his true body with his clone, then he would have had at least a 30% chance of becoming a rank two celestial. Not all celestials would have a chance of advancing. It would depend on their heavenly Dao runes, as well as their talent. The most important thing was that it required an ocean's worth of resources. Amongst 100 rank 1 celestials, less than one might advance to the second rank. Most rank 2 celestials were innate. They simply had to awaken their heavenly Dao runes. That was what made Shu Guanzhi, Xiao Wuji, Zhang Wuyan, and Yu Kaianchen supreme existences in the Zhuanchen Dao sect. Their arrogance was natural. They didn't place any rank 1 celestials in their eyes, let alone Long Chen who wasn't even a celestial. He, Long Chen really has struck an iron board. Shu Guan's he has never been defeated by someone in the same realm. His water magical arts are something even late sea expansion experts are helpless against, sneered one of the Shu family's experts. A rank 2 celestial's heavenly Dao runes could help them activate magical arts. Through training, they would be able to unleash incredible power. Rank 2 celestials could truly dominate the sea expansion realm, but rank 1 Xianchen celestials were only able to fight the early sea expansion realm. Amongst rank 1 celestials, 99% of them didn't have any attributes, so the only thing they could depend on was their heavenly Dao manifestations. But rank 2 celestials were blessed by the heavenly Daos and had higher chances of having an affinity with an element that created a huge chasm between rank 1 and rank 2 celestials. So no matter how monstrous Long Chen was, no matter how heaven-defying he was, no one had a favorable opinion of his chances against a rank 2 celestial. Xu Yunkong smiled. Xu Guan's he was a descendant of the Xu family, and that was much more dependable than an outsider. Just having Xu Guan's he in the Xu family was enough. As for Long Chen, he would at most be fit to be Xu Guan's he's servant. Of course, if Long Chen was willing to be Xu Guan's he's servant, he definitely wouldn't mistreat him. But if Long Chen wasn't willing, then there was no way around it. Xu Guan's he would ruthlessly suppress him. The sky did not have two sons. The people didn't have two masters. A family couldn't contain two pinnacle figures. One had to suppress the other. Xu Yunkong glanced at Xu Wuhan, but seeing her cold smile made him furious. Xu Wuhan was becoming more and more unreliable. Since that was the case, then he would just allow Xu Guan's he to properly beat Long Chen up. As for Zhao Xianai, his expression was calm, but he was laughing with delight inside. He had never expected that he wouldn't even need Xiao Wuji to do anything. The Shu family's own people were helping him out. Zhao Xianai hated Long Chen to the core. He hated him so much that he wished Long Chen would die in the trial. It was because of him that his Zhao family had lost so miserably. The vice sect master frowned slightly. He was unable to understand what Long Chen was doing. He was clearly exceedingly powerful but he still refused to release that power. Were all the youngsters these days so low-key? In front of me, you are just an ant. You are helpless against me. Xu Guan's he continued to block Long Chen's saber. Although Long Chen was constantly increasing his power, his water shield was dispelling it at the same time. Long Chen was just wasting his time. He was unable to threaten him. Is that so? Then I want to see whether or not I can threaten you. Long Chen suddenly smiled. His saber fiercely cut down. What flabbergasted everyone was that Xu Guan's he's incomparably tenacious shield was directly cut apart. Xu Guan's he was dumbfounded. This was something that had never happened before. But before he could react, a hand came from a strange angle. It made an intimate connection with his handsome face. POW. Chapter 715 This is domineering translator. Born to be when Long Chen's hand slapped against Xu Guan's he's face. It was like it also slapped against everyone's hearts. Time seemed to come to a stop. The Dragonblood Warriors, the 36th Super Monastery's Disciples, the Zhuanshan Dao sect's people, Xiao Wuji, Zhang Wuyan, Yu Kaianshan, and the four families were all stunned. P.O.W. 
Shu Guan's he was like a shooting star. When Long Chen's strength was added to the power of the current, he immediately pierced through the Zhuangshan Sea and slammed into the basin. People didn't know if it was a coincidence or not, but Shu Guan's he slammed into the exact same place as Long Chen. However, Shu Guan's he appeared even more miserable, and he slammed a huge hole into the rock that had been compressed by countless years of these waves. Shu Guan's he coughed up a mouthful of blood and crawled up from the ground. People saw an extremely clear handprint on his face. Although Shu Guan's he quickly circulated his spiritual yuan and that mark faded, that image was forever imprinted in their hearts. A grand rank 2 celestial had actually been slapped in the face. They then turned to look back into the storm zone. Long Chen's saber was resting on his shoulder. He appeared like a domineering god. The shock waves from Long Chen's slap shook their hearts. Zhang Huayan had never imagined that Long Chen, who usually didn't reveal any power, was actually this terrifying. The four heavenly geniuses had exchanged blows before, but it hadn't been a life and death battle, and so they hadn't determined a winner. But whether it was Song Wuyan, Xiao Wuji, or Yu Kai Anshan, none of them liked to battle Shu Guanzi. That was because Shu Guanzi's water magical arts were too irritating. They came one after another, endless and boundless. Their techniques were unable to display their true power in front of him. Furthermore, Shu Guanzi had abnormally deep reserves of spiritual yuan. If they tried to fight a battle of attrition, none of them would be able to exhaust him. Furthermore, his defense was perfect, practically impenetrable. But Long Chen had broken that perfect defense with a single slash of his saber. That was the most shocking part of it. Having exchanged blows with Shu Guanzi, they were aware of how strong that shield was. It would constantly dissipate other people's power, making them helpless. They were unable to understand how Long Chen had done this. Just now, they hadn't seen him release any great power. It had happened too suddenly. This Long Chen has gone too far. This is just humiliating others. Xu Yankong's expression was incomparably ugly now. Too far? Humiliating? How come you didn't think that Xu Guanzi's sneak attack against Long Chen was going too far or humiliating? Sneered Xu Wuhan. After a win, you laugh so happily, but after a loss, you have to curse others? Brother Yankong, don't lose face. After all, whether it's Shu Guanzi or Long Chen, they're both on the side of your Shu family. They're both equally valuable. Even if you're biased, you shouldn't make it so obvious, advised Hao Shianai with a smile. Although he knew Hao Shianai's words were trying to infuriate him, Shu Yankong's fury still almost burst out of control. Long Chen's slap hadn't just been a slap in the face of Shu Guanzi, but it had also been a slap in the face of the entire Shu family. This Long Chen really is strange. How did he do this? How did he break Shu Guanzi's defense? At this time, the Wang family head finally couldn't help opening his mouth. He wasn't interested in their verbal warfare, but Long Chen's attack did make him very curious. When he said this, he looked toward the Visect Master, hoping he could answer him. The Visect Master didn't disappoint him. I'm also not sure if he took advantage of the opening in Guanzi's defense or not, but if Long Chen really did do it on purpose, then his ability to see through his enemies is truly terrifying. Opening in his defense, how could there be a gap in Shu Guanzi's water magical arts? Shu Yankong didn't believe it. The Visect Master couldn't be bothered to even look at him. He coldly said, There is nothing in this world that is perfect. If something was truly perfect, all that represents is extinction. Magical arts are the same, and no matter how strong the magical art, it must have a weak point. Just because you don't know about it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Please give me pointers, Visect Master, asked Shu Wuhan respectfully, to tell the truth. She also wanted to know very much. The Visect Master looked at the distant Long Chen. There is a saying that wind cannot exist without motion, and water is constantly flowing. The essence of water magical arts is that constant change. The wheel turns in an unending cycle. No matter what form the outer shape of the magical art takes, it must be in motion on the inside. As those runes flow, they cancel out the opponent's attack power. It's most definitely a very powerful ability. When fighting with water cultivators, if you try to fight a battle of attrition, you'll essentially be asking to be defeated. Water attribute experts have profound reserves of spiritual yuan. Even if the two sides have the same amount of spiritual yuan, the water cultivator will be able to use this method to exhaust their opponent's energy. So when their opponent is out of spiritual yuan, the water cultivator will still have at least 20% of theirs left. To sum up, a water cultivator's strongest point is their defense, not offense. But again, whether it is offense or defense, 
Shu Guanxi's water magical arts are in constant motion. That is his strongest point, and also where his weakness lies. What? The Visect Master continued. Since it's in motion, there are waves. And where there are waves, there must be times of high and low. A time where strong and weak superimpose. Then you mean, these experts now understood. Yes, Long Chen used his power to figure out the fluctuations of Shu Guanxi's power. And when his power was at its weakest, he struck. That was what brought on this result. But as a rank 2 celestial, Shu Guanxi's water energy is incomparably pure. Hundreds of fluctuations occur within his defense with every blink of the eye. But even then, Long Chen was still able to figure out which wave was the weakest out of those hundreds of fluctuations. That is why I called him terrifying. Everyone was shaken. The opening the Visect Master had described wasn't even an opening. Even if someone knew about it, no one could take advantage of it. Furthermore, Long Chen and Shu Guanxi had only fought for a few breaths time, to be able to find the opening during this short time and then take advantage of it. Was that something a human could do? Perhaps you don't believe it. In truth, even I don't believe it. Even for me, if I was fighting someone on the same level, I would never be able to so cleanly grasp that kind of opportunity. This would require maintaining an absolutely pure and bright Dao heart in the midst of battle. Perhaps out of everyone here, only Long Chen is capable of doing this, sighed the Visek Master. Is Long Chen really this strong? asked Xu Yankong. The strong you're talking about is referring to combat strength, but what I'm referring to is the strength of his heart and will. Those things aren't something that can be raised just by spending resources. It is something forged through walking on the line between life and death over and over again. Perhaps in terms of combat strength, Long Chen might be weaker than some people here. But when it comes to the determination of his heart and the strength of his will, everyone here, including me, is unable to get even close to his level. Everyone was shocked. It was completely unexpected for the Visect Master to have such a high opinion of Long Chen. He actually said that even he was not his equal. That was raising his status a bit too much, wasn't it? The Visect Master continued. Maybe not all of you know this, but yesterday, I went through all the information available about Long Chen. Only then did I come to understand his past. He was just an ordinary child. His talent, his background, the amount of resources he could get, they were all terrible. But all he focused on was getting stronger. He had nothing to gamble with. So in order to get stronger, the only thing he could do was gamble with his life. He created countless miracles on his path by risking his life. Perhaps even the heavens have been convinced by him. And as he got stronger, he managed to grab hold of more opportunities. But remember, opportunities are only obtained by those who have the power to grasp them. The weak are unable to even grab hold of the opportunities they are given. If the weak try to forcibly grasp those opportunities, they'll just end up tossing their lives away. Compared to Long Chen, we lack that bravery to risk our lives. Of course, there's a reason for that. We don't need to risk our lives. We have so much, and we can obtain anything that we want. But if Long Chen wants to obtain something, He'll have to put in 10 times, or perhaps even a hundred times the effort compared to others. Furthermore, he'll be in danger of losing his life. Such a person doesn't need talent. As long as he wants to live, he'll constantly get stronger. Hearing this, everyone couldn't help being deeply moved and impressed. They had heard of Long Chen, but they had always thought that the only reason he had his current accomplishments was luck. But now their opinions of him completely changed. Many people were lost in thought. Most of the experts here were all stuck in a bottleneck. They had tried attacking a higher realm multiple times, only to fail every time. They had already lost their confidence and drive. Continuously attacking a bottleneck was something that became more dangerous with each attempt. A person could easily be afflicted by a heart devil and die. In their hearts, they were already afraid. They were afraid of death. They were experts, and they were reluctant to lose everything they had. But the Visect Master's words were like an alarm bell. Were they really planning on waiting until they reached the end of their lifespans? There were still many people here who were comparatively young. They still had a chance of advancing to a higher realm. However, they had lost the Dao heart that a martial artist required. Shu Guanxi's moving. Suddenly, a cry rang out. Shu Guanxi let out a furious roar. Killing intent exploding off of him. He shot forward. He was enraged. This was a kind of humiliation. A kind of completely intolerable humiliation. He wanted to tear Long Chen to pieces. His killing intent was suffocating. Everyone hastily got out of Shu Guanxi's way, afraid he would slaughter them. Long Chen, 
Shu Guanxi's heavenly Dao rune suddenly condensed into a pair of huge wings on his back. He charged directly into the storm zone. Chapter 716 Despicable and Shameless Translator Born to be fuck off. Shu Guanxi had only just taken a step into the storm zone when a huge saber image carried by the current struck him. Boom. Shu Guanxi had yet to stabilize himself in the storm zone when he once more shot back like a shooting star. This time, he was even faster than last time because Long Chen had taken advantage of the situation. He had merged the current's power with his saber key, and he didn't give Shu Guanxi any opportunity. Idiot. Let me just say that with me here. Don't even think about getting in. Long Chen's voice resounded throughout the whole region. Everyone's hearts shook. Perhaps Long Chen was about to make Shu Guanxi regret his actions. Too contemptible, roared Shu Yunkong. With the Storm Zone's power backing him, Long Chen had placed himself in an invincible position. Shu Guanxi had no chance. Long Chen, you are courting death. Boom. Shu Guanxi had just charged into the Storm Zone when Long Chen once more sent him flying. There was no way around this. The Storm Zone was already extremely terrifying. Anyone who charged in would encounter an exceedingly terrifying pressure, and it would require their full strength to resist. Long Chen was aware of that, and so he had immediately taken this advantage. When he combined his attacks with the current here, Shu Guanxi was powerless. Haha, <laughs> this water pipe should now understand how amazing our boss is. To have plotted against him, I really admire his courage. Laugh Guo ran upon seeing the seventh time Shu Guanxi was miserably blown back. The other Dragonblood warriors also couldn't help but clench their fists. Previously, Shu Guanxi had targeted Long Chen. It was truly refreshing to see Long Chen suppress him like this. Tang Wanner and Men Qi were also watching. Men Qi shook her head. Shu Guanxi really is unlucky. He could have provoked anyone, but he decided to provoke Long Chen. Tang Wanner hatefully said, he deserves it. Even Xiao Wuji didn't do anything, but he actually sneak attacked him. He should be crushed. On the seventh time, Long Chen's power was even greater, resulting in Shu Guanxi vomiting blood. His hair was a complete mess, and his expression was sinister. He seemed like a berserk magical beast. He might be furious, but there was nothing he could do. As long as Long Chen had the terrain advantage and simply defended, none of his abilities would allow him to pass. Visect Master, this matter is no good. If this continues, neither of them will be able to properly cultivate. Shu Yunkong looked toward the Visect Master for help, hoping that he would stop this fight. But the Visect Master merely said, I'm unable to handle your Shu family's internal conflict. All he had to do was make sure they didn't fight to the point of death. Otherwise, they could fight as they pleased. When Shu Guanxi had attacked Long Chen, he hadn't said anything Noveloon.com CM now that Shu Guanxi was suppressed by Long Chen and Shu Yunkong was actually asking the Visect Master to interfere. It truly proved that Shu Yunkong was worthy of being the family head. His face was definitely thick enough. However, the Visect Master didn't want to interfere in their Shu family's affairs. If he had to worry about this kind of minor affair, he would never have a moment of peace to cultivate. Wuhan, are you not going to control your disciple? Shouted Shu Yunkong. Shu Wuhan smiled coldly. The matters of youngsters should be resolved by the youngsters. As the family head, do you not even possess that resolve? These words caused everyone's expressions to become odd. Even a solemn person like the Visect Master had to hold back a smile. These were almost the exact same words Shu Yunkong had said when Shu Guanxi had sneak attacked Long Chen. Even the tone was the same. It was like Shu Wuhan had used Shu Yunkong's hand to slap him. It went without saying that this slap was very vicious. How impudent. Do you not place your family head in your eyes? Roared Shu Yunkong. Let everyone take a step back. Monastery head Shu. Advise Long Chen to stop. This isn't good for either of them. There's a time limit for the Zhuanshan Sea, and it may disappear at any time. It's not good to mess around all day, said the Visect Master. All right, I'll advise him. But as for whether or not he'll listen, it's not my problem, said Shu Wuhan helplessly. After all, this was the Visect Master's request, and she had to give him this face. Long Chen, don't mess around. There's a time limit to the Zhuanshan Sea and you have to cherish each moment. Long Chen was currently completely focused on Shu Guanxi. He had to admit that Shu Guanxi was extremely powerful. The reason he seemed so relaxed was entirely because he was relying on the Storm Zone's power. Now that Shu Wuhan tried to mediate the situation, he immediately understood that someone was forcing her. Currently, 
the two dragon tattoos on his arms were shining as they went all out absorbing the energy for themselves. Although it wasn't as good as the energy from deeper within, Long Chen was unable to swallow his anger and thus didn't proceed further. This idiot goes too far with bullying others. I can let him through, but he must give me an apology, shouted Long Chen. You want me to apologize? Keep dreaming. You're the bumpkin idiot, roared Shu Guanzi before anyone else could reply. Fine, then we can just continue like this. If you can get past me, then I won't be Long Chen, sneered Long Chen. He was also full of rage. He hadn't provoked this fellow, and all he wanted was an apology. But this Shu Guanzi acted as if he was thoroughly wronged. Since that was the case, then they could fight until the end. Just who was afraid of who? Well, I've done all I can. Shu Wuhan shrugged. You aren't even able to control a disciple. What qualifications do you have to be a monastery head? Shouted an expert from the Shu family. That person was precisely the monastery head of the fifth supermonastery and the one who would eventually succeed in the family head position. Back then, he had invited Shu Wuhan to join his side, but she had refused, which irritated him. Now his authority was growing greater and greater, and he was beginning to push her out. Yes, he is my disciple, but he is not my tool or puppet. He has the right to protect his own dignity. Shu Wuhan's expression sank. You, what sophistry, he raged. Don't fight. Shu Guanzi is moving again. He, eh, is he? Everyone was startled to see Shu Guanzi charge in a different direction this time. Heavens, he wouldn't. Quite a few expressions of disbelief appeared. Shu Guanzi was actually rushing toward the dragon blood legion. Scram. Shu Guanzi roared and a huge blade fell on them. The dragon blood warriors were alarmed and hastily defended. Boom. A huge windshield appeared in front of the dragon blood warriors. But this shield merely lasted for an instant before shattering. As for the dragon blood warriors, they were knocked back but didn't get sent flying. That was Tang Wan'er's shield. As soon as she had seen Shu Guanzi charging over at everyone, she had had a bad feeling and rushed back with Men Qi. Netherworld Soul Arrow, a translucent arrow filled with endless soul energy shot toward Shu Guanzi. A spiritual attack. Shu Guanzi's expression changed. Spiritual attacks were the most terrifying attacks. If he was struck, it truly would be troublesome. Buzz. The heavenly Dao runes behind him suddenly transformed into a huge shield. Two kinds of runes were constantly flickering looking like the eyes of millions of ghouls. It appeared extremely strange. This strange shield blocked Menki's attack, but Shu Guanzi felt a burst of pain in his soul. Menki's spiritual attack was too powerful, and a portion of it reached him. Fuck off. Shu Guanzi formed a hand seal, and the water key around him surged. His runes rumbled with them, and a huge water hammer appeared in the air. Get back, cried Tang Wan'er. She rapidly formed hand seals, summoning all her energy. A huge windshield formed in front of her, and she retreated along with everyone else. Boom. Her windshield exploded. Terrifying water energy slammed into them. It felt like a mountain had crashed into them, and they all vomited blood. They were engulfed in a powerful flood and unable to say a word. Shu Guanzi's attack blew back Tang Wan'er and the others. They directly slammed into the edge of the basin, but no one cheered for him. They all looked down on him, unable to defaturing Long Chen. He actually released his anger on people from the same sect as him. That wasn't what a true expert should do. Everyone was silent for a moment. Around half of the Dragon Blood Legion had fallen unconscious from this attack. After all, that was the attack of a rank 2 celestial. Seeing the Dragon Blood warriors begin to carry their injured brothers to the shore and give them medical care, everyone felt an indescribable feeling inside. Each of the Dragon Blood warriors was worthy of respect, but now they had been humiliated like this. Long Chen, since you won't let me cultivate, then none of your 36th supermonasteries people should think about cultivating either. Shu Guanzi completely ignored everyone's gazes. In the storm zone, Long Chen's eyes were icy cold, and his arms suddenly shook. A blue and violet light shot out. Originally, people thought he was preparing some ultimate attack, but those two lights didn't go forward. They went toward the core of the storm zone instead. Long Chen had decided to let Lai Long and Huo Long go to the core on their own. He told them to make themselves as small as possible so that they wouldn't be noticed, but it still drew people's suspicions. However, Long Chen didn't care. Shu Guanzi, do you have any interest in having a life and death match? Shouted Long Chen from the storm region, shocking everyone. Chapter 717 Fighting Shu Guanzi Translator Born to be a life and death match, everyone was shocked. Long Chen wanted to kill? 
Did he really have the confidence to fight a rank 2 celestial? HMPH. How ignorant. Snorted Xu Yankong. Yes. Truly ignorant. Xu Wuhan nodded. But the same word had a different meaning in her mouth. Xu Wuhan knew that Long Chen was truly furious. He could accept anything, but he couldn't accept others hurting his comrades. Especially not when they were someone impossible for them to defeat Turing and when they used such despicable methods. Once that happened, Long Chen would become a completely different person. Do you think you're fit to have a life and death match with me? I won't kill you today, but I'll crush every single one of your bones to dust. Seeing Long Chen walk out of the storm zone, Xu Guan's he was delighted. As long as he wasn't in the storm zone, then he didn't have anything to worry about. Long Chen, I'll make you regret provoking me. Xu Guan's he suddenly spread his hands. Countless runes appeared in the space between them, forming a huge arrow. The arrow continued to grow, becoming hundreds of meters long. It was formed entirely of his runes, and a terrifying pressure spread that caused the other disciples' expressions to change. This level of attack could instantly kill them. The huge arrow shot toward Long Chen. It wasn't fast, but it caused the void to rumble. Its powerful aura had locked down Long Chen. Don't play this kind of senseless game. Bring out your full strength, or you'll die. Suddenly, Long Chen completely disappeared. When he reappeared, he was right by Xu Guan's he's side, and his saber was slashing at him. What? Everyone was shocked that Long Chen could ignore Xu Guan's he's lock and escape this attack. But was Xu Guan's he trying to make a joke? If you wanted to lock down your opponent, you either needed stronger spiritual strength or a greater aura than your opponent. He had truly underestimated Long Chen. Despite immediately summoning a water shield and retreating, Xu Guan's he was still cut by Long Chen's saber key. Blood burst from his chest. If he had been any slower, he would have been cleanly cut in two. Long Chen's netherworld ghost steps were too difficult to deal with. As his cultivation base had grown, he discovered just how exquisite this technique was. His speed was too fast, so fast that others couldn't even react. The Celestials were especially horrified. They would be killed without even realizing it. The Visect Master narrowed his eyes upon seeing Long Chen's footwork. He felt it was a bit familiar, but he wasn't sure. Xu Yankong and the rest of the Xu family all jumped upon seeing Xu Guan's he injured. Heavenly Dao recovery. Xu Guan's he was also shocked. Just now, he had instinctively shot back upon sensing the danger. If he hadn't, he would have died. Now, he no longer dared to be careless. He directly summoned his true cry of the Heavenly Daos. Previously, he had only activated a portion of his runic power. He had always thought that summoning the cry of the Heavenly Daos would just be elevating Long Chen's status. But now he finally realized that if he continued playing around like this, he might play himself to his grave. Boom. With Xu Guan's he at the core, two kinds of heavenly Dao runes erupted. Space trembled as they interweaved. Even the flow of the current was forced aside by his power. For many people, this was their first time seeing the manifestation of a rank 2 celestial. It was much more terrifying than ordinary celestials. Even from a hundred miles away, this pressure made it hard for people to breathe. Are they really going to undergo a heaven-shaking battle? The disciples were filled with anticipation. It was rare to witness a battle on this level. Suddenly, Long Chen began to rush away, instantly disappearing from other people's sights. People were at first astonished that he was running, but then Long Chen said, let's switch locations. In order to not disturb others, Long Chen wanted to change the battlefield that filled these disciples with gratitude. Xu Guan's he snorted and followed. Today, he was completely infuriated. This was his first time being slapped in the face. Although he couldn't kill Long Chen in front of everyone like this, he could definitely humiliate him as much as he pleased to retrieve his dignity. Now, he no longer even cared that much about the trial. If he didn't defaturing Long Chen, he would become the Zhuanshan Dao sect's laughingstock. Don't just stand there. Even if you want to watch the fight, watch from inside, said Long Chen to the Dragonblood Legion. Because he was following the current, he reached the edge of the basin in just a moment. Gu Yang and the others hastily nodded. This trial was an extremely rare opportunity. They had already sensed immense benefits. The people who had been knocked unconscious had awoken, and they once more returned to their original location. With their previous experience, their speed was much faster. By the time they reached their original location, Long Chen and Xu Guan's he were already facing each other in the distance. The Visect Master didn't stop them, nor did he have any plans to. For a genius to rise within a sect was a good thing. But if multiple geniuses rose, they would definitely fight. Geniuses were all extremely self-confident. 
they only wanted to recognize themselves as geniuses. Each of them wanted to be king, to be the sole ruler. That wasn't a bad thing. Geniuses needed all kinds of motivation and passion to get stronger. If everything was peaceful and perfect, a genius would have no drive. It was an iron law of the world that competition was required. This was a rule that no one could change. And so the Visect Master only watched. Whether it was the disciples in the Zhuangshan Sea or the four families experts, everyone's focus was on Long Chen and Shu Guanzi. Although I can't kill you, I can return the humiliation you've given me a thousand times, said Shu Guanzi arrogantly. Then be careful. I, Long Chen, am not good at fighting. I'm only good at killing. If I accidentally kill you, don't blame me. Long Chen shook his head. Arrogant. I'll let you experience the true power of a rank 2 celestial. A power you can only look up to. Boom. Shu Guanzi's runes suddenly blossomed with light as if they had come alive. A terrifying pressure crashed down on the ground, causing space to tremble. The ground beneath Long Chen's feet suddenly cracked. Although Shu Guanzi hadn't attacked yet, the aura he had released had already locked onto him. Long Chen was under Shu Guanzi's terrifying pressure. Now that Shu Guanzi had released his full strength and summoned the cry of the heavenly Deos, this pressure was no weaker than at the edge of the storm zone. However, the storm zone's power was spread throughout a large area, while Shu Guanzi's power was completely focused on Long Chen, which was the only reason it could match the storm zone. As expected, a true rank 2 celestial is much more terrifying. That idiot Hua Wufang didn't even have half this power. Battle intent soared out of Long Chen. It had been a long time since he had exchanged blows with a true expert. It would be good to have a fight. Divine Ring. When the Divine Ring appeared, his powerful aura was like a dragon soaring into the sky. The Divine Ring had three colors, but on the edge, there was an incredibly indistinct color, one that was practically impossible to see. What magical art is that? Asked a monastery head. This Divine Ring possessed a will that could subdue the entire universe. Even heaven and earth would have to lower their heads. Such a technique was something they had never seen or heard of. The most shocking thing was that this divine ring was actually able to resist Shu Guanzi's cry of the heavenly deos. It wasn't like this before. Why are there more colors now? Some people had seen photographic jades of when Long Chen had previously summoned the divine ring. But those images were from when Long Chen had fought in the Jiuli secret realm. The divine ring had completely transformed, and its new power had reached an inconceivable level. Long Chen. Let me see just how strong you are. Shu Wuhan was full of anticipation. Although she had known Long Chen for so long, she was never able to tell what his limit was. When Long Chen summoned the Divine Ring, Shu Guanzi immediately felt a great deal of pressure. That kind of feeling was something he had only sensed when he fought the other Rank 2 Celestials. Did Long Chen truly possess the power of a Rank 2 Celestial? If you keep hesitating, then I'll have to attack first. Be careful. You've bullied my brothers. So I'm actually quite angry. If you don't want to die, bring out your full strength. Boom. The ground beneath him crumbled. Long Chen shot forward, his saber mercilessly slashing down. I'll make you pay for your arrogance. Shu Guanzi was infuriated by Long Chen. His words were a complete insult to him. Even a fellow rank 2 celestial had never dared to say such a thing to him. Water Dragon Twister. Endless runes lit up behind Shu Guanzi, forming a huge water dragon that crashed toward Long Chen. Bang. The huge water dragon was directly cut in two by Long Chen. Long Chen found it odd how easily he destroyed it, but then his heart clenched and he hastily swung his saber behind him. Chapter 718 Skywater Prison Translator Born to be two water dragons had silently appeared behind Long Chen. They were slashed apart by his saber. What? Long Chen was startled to see that the two water dragons had now become four. Recalling how he had previously cut Shu Guanzi's attack in two. He realized he hadn't destroyed his attack. His slashes weren't destroying his attack, but multiplying it. Now, two had turned into four. Furthermore, he found that these dragons had actually absorbed some of his power. It was extremely strange. The four water dragons once more came charging at him. With another slash of his saber, the four turned into eight. Everyone was shocked speechless. This was the first time most of these disciples were seeing Shu Guanzi's fighting style. Such a strange technique was truly shocking. The more you killed, the more appeared. Wouldn't you be exhausted to death by the end? My water runes are my core runes. When I awakened as a rank 2 celestial, they all transformed into heavenly deo runes. Each time you attack, my water runes will absorb a portion of your strength and condense new water dragons. Your defeat is inevitable. 
sneered Xu Guanzi from a distance. In the storm zone, Xiao Wuji, Zhang Wuyan, and Yu Kianchen all had disgusted expressions as they looked at the multiplying water dragons. This was precisely one of the reasons they didn't like fighting Xu Guanzi. His techniques were truly too irritating. He didn't face people head on, instead releasing endless water dragons to attack people. If you destroyed the water dragons, that would cause your spiritual yuan to leak and be absorbed by the water dragons. Forming more water dragons, you would essentially be attacking yourself. But if you didn't destroy them, then it would turn into a battle of attrition. With Xu Guanzi's vast spiritual yuan, no one could beat him in that regard. Out of the three, only Yu Kianchen had almost managed to beat Xu Guanzi. He had immediately launched one of his ultimate moves at the start of the battle, instantly breaking through Xu Guanzi's blockade to arrive in front of him. But the result was regretful. Xu Guanzi had used a defensive secret art to block him. Although he had been injured, it hadn't been a heavy injury. After that, Yu Kianchen hadn't had an opportunity to approach him again. It had turned into a battle of attrition, and in the end, it was impossible to determine the winner. Furthermore, he had only had that one chance. After that, Xu Guanzi was on guard against him and didn't give him any opportunity. More and more water dragons were appearing around Long Chen. Each one was 300 meters long. Now, there were actually thousands of water dragons, and Long Chen was surrounded. He was like a small boat floating on an angry sea. He might collapse at any moment. Long Chen's defeat Chiringus inevitable, sighed some monastery heads. No matter who was attacked with such an irritating attack, they would probably be stifled to the point of going crazy. Xu Guanzi's water magical arts are practically unrevealed, praised others. Xu Wuhan was watching curiously. Long Chen seemed to be going all out against the countless water dragons surrounding him. She was curious as to why he was still attacking them. With his vast battle experience, he clearly should have seen through some clues. How could there be any unrevealed magical arts in this world? The Visect Master wore a faint smile as he calmly watched. He couldn't help but sigh. Perhaps he was the only one present who understood what Long Chen was thinking. Heavens, what's going on? You can't even see Long Chen anymore. He's been buried by tens of thousands of water dragons. The disciples in the current couldn't help being appalled by the countless water dragons. Long Chen and Xu Guanzi had distanced themselves from the others. The only thing they could see was water key and huge dragons surging. Previously, they had still been able to see Long Chen faintly through the water. But now they couldn't see him at all. If this continues, Long Chen will directly exhaust himself to death. How foolish, said Song Wuyan coldly. Xiao Wuji said, hopefully Xu Guanzi won't torment him too badly, or I won't have anything to play with. I want to personally crush him and snatch his two women. With your face, no woman would take a fancy to you. Save yourself the effort. Suddenly, Yu Kianshan, who hadn't said a thing up to this point, opened his mouth. But his words were like a blade stabbing toward Xiao Wuji. Bastard, you want to die? If you're not convinced, let's fight right now, raged Xiao Wuji. His aura sword and he took a battle posture. Seeing Long Chen and Xu Guanzi fighting, he had long since started to get itchy for a fight. I'm not so bored. If you want to fight, there will be a chance in the future, replied Yu Kianchen coldly. Then he no longer bothered with Xiao Wuji. He absorbed the storm zone's energy as he watched the distant battle. Most people didn't think Long Chen had any chance of winning anymore, but the Dragonblood warriors were an exception. They didn't believe there was anyone in the same realm that could defy Chiring Long Chen, not even a rank 2 celestial. Ha 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 ha, Long Chen, you won't even be able to continue for a few hours before exhausting yourself like this, laughed Xu Guanzi. Explode. Suddenly, over 10,000 water dragons exploded. A figure shot through the water, his saber landing on an astonished Xu Guanzi. Xu Guanzi's body was cleanly cut in two by Long Chen. Everyone let out startled cries. Xu Guanzi had been killed? The Xu family's experts all stood up. Xu Yankong's killing intent erupted. Sit down, ordered the Visect Master. Suddenly, people heard a faint sound in the distance. They hastily looked over to see Xu Guanzi's body explode. But the only thing coming out was water. There was no blood. A water clone. Everyone was shocked. They hastily looked around. Finding Xu Guanzi up in the air, his expression was exceedingly ugly. If he hadn't used his water clone just now, he would have been killed. This was his first time being forced to use his water clone. This clone was not a spiritual clone, nor was it a true clone. It was simply a clone he had condensed with his runic energy. This clone could only exist within the domain of his runes. 
He would normally keep it hidden in his domain, and at a critical moment, he could instantly switch places with it. This was one of his secret abilities. But now, it had been exposed by Long Chen. That made him extremely furious. How did you do this? Demanded Shu Guanzi. Long Chen flung the water off his saber. I'm not your father. Why should I tell you? You. Shu Guanzi almost exploded from rage. Long Chen's strongest point was his ability to enrage his opponents to death. But it wasn't as if his words were wrong. Why would he have to tell Shu Guanzi? Wouldn't that just make it so he could defend against it in the future? Was he stupid noveloon.com I understand. You were intentionally allowing the water dragons to absorb your spiritual yuan so that more would appear. Then, when they blocked my sight, you used a secret technique to detonate the spiritual yuan that belonged to you in the water dragons, and then took that chance to launch a sneak attack, said Shu Guanzi. Everyone thought about it. It seemed Long Chen truly had intentionally allowed the water dragons to absorb his spiritual yuan, or their numbers wouldn't have increased so quickly. But how had Long Chen done this? All the experts, including Zhao Wuji and the others, didn't understand. The people who had exchanged blows with Shu Guanzi all knew that as long as their spiritual yuan was absorbed by his attack, they would lose any connection to that spiritual yuan. They wouldn't even be able to sense it anymore. They didn't know that when Long Chen had his divine ring out, he could still feel his spiritual yuan. Even when it had been absorbed by the water dragons, it had its own specific marking. Previously, Long Chen had allowed the water dragons to absorb his spiritual yuan. Shu Guanzi's water dragons truly were bizarre and they did isolate his spiritual yuan from his control. But with his divine ring, he could clearly sense his energy in the water dragons, and when his saber touched that energy, he could detonate it. Even now, Long Chen didn't completely understand the divine ring's abilities. All he knew was that it could allow his aura to explosively grow and absorb energy for him. Now, he had found another ability, but this ability didn't seem to have any purpose outside of handling Shu Guanzi's water dragons now. I also required you to work together with me. If you weren't so arrogant, you would have immediately reacted when your water runes exploded and immediately dodged. Now you should believe me, right? Bring out your full power, or you'll die, said Long Chen indifferently. Hearing their words, everyone couldn't help being alarmed inside. Just what kind of monster was Long Chen? He managed to see through the openings of any magical art in the shortest period. It had to be known that Shu Guanzi he had fought with countless people and they had all been completely helpless against his multiplying water dragons. It was completely unexpected for Long Chen to be able to break this technique. The ones who were most shocked were naturally Xiao Wuji, Zhang Wuyan, and Yu Kai Anshan. They had always found themselves restrained by his magical arts, so they knew just how difficult Xu Guanzi was to deal with. However, his magical arts might be useful against others, but now they were useless against Long Chen. Xu Guanzi was completely infuriated by this unexpected outcome. Xu Yunkong's expression was ugly. He also felt a bit regretful. If he had known Long Chen was this powerful, he wouldn't have told Xu Guanzi to suppress Long Chen. If his Xu family could have two such powerful geniuses, then they would definitely become the champion of the four families. But now, he felt extremely uneasy. Did you think that I only have this little ability? Did you think your little flukes can defeat your aim? A bumpkin really is a bumpkin. I'll let you experience my true abilities. Skywater Prison. The water runes surrounding Shu Guanzi all scattered, instantly covering an area of dozens of miles. Chapter 719 Strongest Defense Translator. Born to be Long Chen found himself trapped within a huge water prison. It was like a huge birdcage. Because it had come so fast and its scope was so big, he hadn't had any opportunity to run. This water cage was formed entirely of runes. These were Shu Guanzi's Korun's. They were like water but not truly water. Their strength caused the void to twist. Looking from the outside, Long Chen seemed like a bird caught in a cage. There was nowhere for him to run. Ha ha ha, Long Chen. Let's see how you run now. Shu Guanzi sneered and his hand seal suddenly changed. The prison began to rapidly shrink. As it shrank, heaven and earth rumbled. What? What kind of power is this? How could it be so terrifying? No one had expected this water prison to cause such intense rumbling. It was like heaven and earth were unable to bear its power. Long Chen's expression finally changed. He found that as the prison shrank, the pressure around him multiplied. It felt like the world around him was being compressed. When it was compressed to the point of just a few miles, Long Chen felt like a huge mountain was crashing onto him from every direction. He had no choice but to resist with his full strength. 
By the time the prison reached a width of 300 meters, Long Chen estimated that the pressure could easily crush a rank 1 celestial. The pressure continued to increase as it shrank. Even Long Chen's physical body was starting to become unable to bear it. Long Chen, now that you're a bird caught in a cage, you should understand the difference between us. You'll never be able to make up for that gap. If you kneel and beg me, if you say you're a bumpkin, I will release you. Otherwise, even if I can't kill you, I can crush you into a completely deformed state now, said Shu Guanzi. You're a bumpkin? That's all I have to say, said Long Chen suddenly. Yes, Shu Guanzi thought he was conceding, and he sneered with disdain. All right, I've said it, and you've also promised, said Long Chen. Shu Guanzi immediately understood that he was cursing him, and he had actually fallen for it. Fuck off. Shu Guanzi furiously compressed the prison. He truly wanted to kill Long Chen now. Hmm. Long Chen is completely suppressed. This water prison looks so terrifying. It's unexpected that Shu Guanzi actually had such an ability, said Yu Kai Anshin. When they had exchanged blows with Shu Guanzi, he had always used the water dragons to handle them. He had never faced them head on. So in truth, his scheming ability was profound. He had held back all his powerful techniques. If it hadn't been for Long Chen, they wouldn't have known that Shu Guanzi had such terrifying abilities. The water prison took only a moment to appear, and its scope was so great. If it was in a close-range battle, it really was impossible to defend against. The three of them all felt apprehensive. They didn't look favorably on Long Chen's odds. Since Shu Guanzi had abandoned his defense and placed all his Korun's into this water prison, it meant that this was his strongest offensive ability. Suddenly, an explosive sound rang out. Long Chen's shoulder shattered. He was finally unable to bear that pressure. Truly worthy of being a rank 2 celestial. This combat ability is truly shocking. It seems I've underestimated you, said Long Chen lightly as he looked at the blood on his shoulder. You still want to act calm? I want to see just how long you can keep that up. You'll quickly be crushed into a lump, said Shu Guanzi through clenched teeth. Although he had imprisoned Long Chen, Shu Guanzi was still infuriated. His strategy had always been to never reveal his true strength in front of others. But this Skywater prison was his strongest killing technique. He had once used this technique to bring down a rank 2 celestial from the corrupt path. Long Chen had far surpassed the amount of time that rank 2 celestial had lasted, and he had only just been injured. Just how terrifying was his physical body? A cold light suddenly appeared in his eyes. He definitely couldn't leave such a person alive. He decided to secretly concentrate all his power and instantly kill Long Chen. Even if he did kill Long Chen, although it would displease the Visect Master, he could say that Long Chen refused to admit to featuring as an excuse. His death was just an accident. At most, he would receive some punishment. You want to kill me, said Long Chen suddenly. He smiled. He finally sensed that Shu Guanzi had unleashed his killing intent. Three star battle armor. Three stars appeared in Long Chen's eyes. The primal chaos bead, which had been rapidly circulating, suddenly became still. A vast sea of energy poured out of the primal chaos space. It was like explosives had been ignited in his body. A terrifying aura erupted and a will to decimate the nine heavens soared into the sky. What? Everyone was horrified. Long Chen actually still had a trump card. And such a terrifying one. Everyone felt a burst of terror when Long Chen's aura erupted. It was like the revival of a devil god. In front of that will, they seemed so minute. The water cage was like a balloon. It went from 50 meters to 30 miles. And it was still inflating. Boom. The terrifying water cage directly exploded from Long Chen's aura. Everyone's jaws dropped. Do you still have any other techniques? If not, I'll be attacking. But Long Chen had already charged directly at a horrified Shu Guanzi. Shu Guanzi awakened from his shock and quickly summoned back his runes. They formed a shield in front of him. Bang! That incomparably tough runic shield instantly exploded. Shu Guanzi vomited blood and flew back Novaloon.com CM even the late sea expansion experts watching had to gulp. They were all shocked by Long Chen's combat ability. It had to be known that Shu Guanzi's water shield was shockingly tough and supple. Other people's attacks were unable to bring out any force against him. But now it had instantly exploded. That meant Long Chen's current strength had reached a level that surpassed their imaginations. Is Long Chen a demon? Wondered a monastery head. All the monastery heads were shaken. This kind of combat ability was inconceivable. The Visect Master simply watched calmly. His gaze went from the Divine Ring to Long Chen's gaze. He didn't say anything, as even he had never seen this kind of magical art. 
It had already surpassed the scope of his understanding. Long Chen had to have huge secrets. He couldn't help but sigh. Everything Long Chen had was obtained through risking his life. Perhaps only such a brave warrior would be given the heaven's blessing. All great opportunities were left to the brave. It was unfortunate he didn't know that Long Chen didn't feel the slightest gratefulness toward the heavens. It was the nine-star hegemon body art that had given him everything he had. Shu Guan's he had borrowed Long Chen's attack to fall back. Seeing him miserably falling back, even the other three heavenly geniuses were shocked. Zhang Wuyan covered her mouth, filled with disbelief. They had all been tricked by Long Chen. Or perhaps it was better to say they had been tricked by Long Chen's slovenliness. They had been misled by how he didn't have any of the air of an expert. Every genius, even rank one celestials, would all possess an arrogant air and domineeringness. But Long Chen didn't possess that. He seemed just like an ordinary disciple. And so no one could tell he was truly a match for the four heavenly geniuses. Ha ha ha. Boss really is the boss. Guo Ran and the others were all in the red zone watching Long Chen worshipfully. Boom. Countless water runes once more condensed around Shu Guan's he. Shocking everyone. He truly was worthy of being one of the four heavenly geniuses. He was capable of releasing consecutive ultimate moves. And there was no sign of his spiritual yuan running out. The disciples all had to acknowledge the four heavenly geniuses. They were all practically monsters. Unable to be judged through common sense. Seal the heavens. Lock the earth. Rumbling filled the air. And blood began to drip from Shu Guan's he's forehead. This fresh blood formed two different runes on his forehead. They corresponded to his two heavenly Dao runes. In that instant, all the runes around him became scarlet. They formed three translucent barriers around him. Long Chen, as a water cultivator, offense is my weak point. Now I've brought forth my strongest defense. If you have the gods, just try and break it. Provoke Shu Guan's he. Are you stupid? You're hiding in your turtle shell. And you want me to break it? Why would I waste the energy? I'll just wait right here. Let me see just how long you can maintain this turtle shell. Long Chen naturally wasn't so stupid. Furthermore, even before he touched these three barriers, just summoning them had made Shu Guan's he pay a large price. Just from that, he knew this was his strongest technique. This kind of magical art might have a shocking defense, but the exhaustion rate was also tremendous. There was no way he could maintain it for long. On the other hand, Long Chen had the divine ring giving him a constant stream of energy. Shu Guan's he was infuriated. He snorted. If you don't, then I'll force out every single one of you from the Zhuanshan Sea. Countless expressions changed. Even Shu Yankong's expression became ugly. This child had been pampered rotten. At this moment, he didn't care the slightest bit about principles. He had made this threat twice now. He had completely lost the mannerism a large sect's disciple should possess. All right, since you want to die, I can only help you out. Long Chen's gaze seemed like two sharp blades. He slowly raised his saber, and a majestic aura slowly rose. Chapter 720 Defeating His Enemy with a Single Saber Translator Born to be these movements are, the Visect Master was shocked. It split the heavens, said Shu Wuhan. What? How can Long Chen use the heaven-splitting Divine Sect sacred ability? Cried the Wang family head. There's nothing curious about it. In the Phoenix Cry Empire, Long Chen found the first form of split the heavens. And then in the Jiuli secret realm, he killed one of the heaven-splitting divine sect's disciples. Thanks to some people sending this news to the heaven-splitting divine sect, one of their people came to give him permission. Who would have thought? Right. What do you say? Family heads how? Shu Wuhan glanced at Zhao Shianai's bald head. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Zhao Shianai's expression didn't even twitch. Oh? There was such a thing? And the heaven-splitting divine sect's people didn't take back Long Chen's battle skill? How? The Vice Sect Master found this inconceivable. According to the heaven-splitting divine sect's crazy and unreasonable domineeringness, they definitely wouldn't be so kind-hearted. That person didn't make things hard on Long Chen. He actually gave Long Chen some benefits. Shu Wuhan smiled. Benefits? How is that possible? Cried a monastery head. Because Long Chen gave him a slap in the face. He gave Long Chen some benefits. I'm also not clear on the exact details. Shu Wuhan shook her head. Thinking of that person from the heaven-splitting divine sect, she couldn't help finding it funny. She really was unable to understand his way of thinking. People wanted to continue asking her questions. But in the end, they shut their mouths and focused on watching Long Chen. His aura was still growing. Even if Long Chen has learned split the heavens. So what? Guan's defense is unrevealed. 
No one within the same realm can break it, said Xu Yankong. He was clearly uncomfortable with how long Chen was. As the family head, he had made this strategy which had caused a genius to be treated as a random weed. That was equivalent to saying he had no vision. If Long Chen defeated Xu Guanzi, he really would have no face left. So in his heart, he still hoped for Xu Guanzi to suppress Long Chen. Only then would it prove that he had made the right choice. If a leader couldn't even properly appraise people, then they really should step down. Long Chen's saber was currently pointed toward the sky. An immense saber image slowly condensed. Split the heavens. The huge saber image suddenly slashed down on Xu Guanzi's water barrier. The barrier shook three times, but it didn't break. Furthermore, there were three runic barriers. Long Chen's attack hadn't even broken the outer layer. This is the famous split the heavens. The experts looked at each other in dismay. It seemed this was a far cry from the power rumored in legends. HMPH. It was just a bluff, sneered Xu Yankong. Buzz. Just as his sneer rang out, Long Chen once more raised his saber to the sky. An even larger saber image pierced through the clouds. What? When they saw that saber image, the monastery heads all shot up, filled with shock. They found out that Long Chen's previous attack had just been a practice blow. The first attack had shaken heaven and earth's natural energy, but the second attack had absorbed all the energy in the air. In that instant, the entire world trembled with a murderous aura, even from a distance. It was like this saber image had locked them down. It was incomparably terrifying. This should be the second form of split the heavens. Xu Wuhan was also filled with shock as she watched, but she could guess what this move was. Xu Guanzi was tightly locked down by a fierce sensation of death. He felt a chill throughout his whole body. Bastard, you won't be able to break my defense. He roared furiously and suddenly punched himself in the chest. He vomited blood, directly using his essence blood to form a seal. The barriers around him brightened. Long Chen ignored his actions. He was completely focused on comprehending the will of split the heavens. Although it wasn't his first time using it, this time, he felt a kind of will that could break apart any and all restrictions, including heaven and earth. It actually greatly resembled his own will. He was currently trying to align his will with the essence of split the heavens. Rumbling suddenly filled the air, and astral winds raged. A power was bursting forth like an erupting volcano. Long Chen suddenly felt all his energy get sucked dry. He couldn't help being startled. His tremendous spiritual yuan still wasn't enough to completely satisfy split the heavens. Furthermore, he found that his attack had already reached the point of an arrow flying off a bow. He had no choice but to follow through with it. It wasn't under his control anymore. The huge saber image was like a bolt of lightning splitting apart heaven and earth. Like a heavenly blade cutting apart the river of stars. It slashed down directly at Xu Guanzi. Boom. When it landed on his first layer of defenses. That water barrier instantly exploded. It continued to the second. The second barrier didn't even last for a breath. And it also exploded. Xu Guanzi's face turned as pale as paper. With a furious roar. Xu Guanzi poured all his spiritual yuan into his final barrier. If he still couldn't block it. He would die. Boom. The saber image landed on the third barrier. The ground fiercely trembled. And even the disciples in the Zhuanshan Sea were blown into the air. As a result. They were blown into the distance by the current. Some were even blown directly to the edge. This attack was too terrifying. It was lucky that this was a special place. Or Long Chen's attack might have completely destroyed this land. When the dust scattered, people were horrified to see the ground had become covered in cracks. Long Chen was leaning on his saber, gasping for breath. Xu Guanzi had disappeared from his original location, and a long ditch had appeared there. Xu Guanzi was lying at the end of that ditch constantly coughing up blood. What? Xu Guanzi was defeated. Dragging his saber, Long Chen slowly walked over to Xu Guanzi. His steps were a bit unsteady, but his imposingness shook people's hearts. When he arrived in front of him, Long Chen icily looked at the pale Xu Guanzi. Do you know? If you had just targeted me, this little competition would have ended here. Regretfully, you despicably sneak attacked my brothers. What? Are you planning? You won't dare to kill me said Xu Guanzi icily. Long Chen smiled. In this world, there's nothing I don't dare to do. It's just that you haven't touched my bottom line yet, so I won't kill you. Suddenly, Long Chen's saber directly pierced through Xu Guanzi's chest. His blood splashed, shocking everyone. Long Chen, you're courting death. Xu Yankong roared furiously. Long Chen's actions caused everyone to jump in fright. Was he really planning on killing someone here? Did he not want his life? Long Chen didn't even glance at Xu Yankong. 
He indifferently looked at Chu Guanxi. This is for my brothers. Remember, next time you do something like this, then even if you have a god as a backer, I swear I will kill you. He flung his saber, sending Shu Guanxi flying. He miserably tumbled, wildly vomiting blood. Without a second glance, Long Chen began walking back toward the Zhuangshan Sea. Everyone was deeply shaken by this. It was like they were watching a merciless devil god walking toward them. He was actually so powerful. All of a sudden, the saber Long Chen was resting on his shoulder shattered. It was unable to endure the power from the second form of split the heavens. Damn it. Can't you wait until after I finish showing off? Long Chen sighed helplessly. He flung away the hilt and went directly into the Zhuangshan Sea. He felt his exhausted spiritual Yuan rapidly recovering in the Zhuangshan Sea. It was even faster than recovering with medicinal pills. Vice-Sect Master, Long Chen went too far this time. Xu Yankong stood and bowed. The Vice-Sect Master waved his hand. All things have their reasons. If you want to play, then you have to be able to accept losing. If Long Chen had been defeated, what would have happened? Would you have felt that to be too far? Do you feel that because Xu Guanxi is your family's disciple, defeating him is going too far? Just at this moment, Zhao Xianai interjected. Family head Shu, being so biased toward one person isn't good. Aren't you afraid of your other disciples growing disillusioned? You, I'm just judging the matter as it stands, aren't I? Shu Yankong's mind was a bit chaotic now. It was not the time to fight. So he directly shut his mouth. Nice job, boss. When Long Chen passed by the Dragonblood Legion, Guo Ran and the others all looked at him worshipfully. Deciding to follow Long Chen had truly been the best decision of their lives. Long Chen smiled at them and continued forward. Winking at Men Qi and Tang Wan Er, he went straight toward the storm zone. The pressure was the greatest there, but his recovery speed would also be the fastest there. Once he was in the violet zone, he didn't continue forward. He just relied on the current's practically limitless energy to recover his spiritual Yuan. At this time, the heavily injured Shu Guanzi stood up and walked back to the Zhuangshan Sea. Long Chen had merely stabbed him, and that attack hadn't contained any other forces. So while his injury had appeared frightening, it hadn't been at all fatal. That was especially true since he was a water cultivator, and his natural recovery ability was greater than others. Shu Guanzi also entered the Violet Zone. This time, Long Chen didn't stop him. A gentleman should be magnanimous and clearly understand enmities. He had already gotten his revenge for his brothers. Long Chen, I won't let things off just like this. We still have a long time to play, snorted Shu Guanzi when he detoured around Long Chen. 